About the five, he gonna blow the whistle, right? Die, steal his whistle. <laughs> nah, I stole his whistle, he can't blow it. I'm just holding the ball and the whistle. He like, what? The OGs are back, and we got a special, special episode for y'all today, man. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. Oh, it's gonna be a good it's one. Be a good I'm one. be honest with you. We should almost you should almost just play as highlight reel the whole time and say the, the podcast. It's a lot of highlights. No, nah, no, nah, you got the best. You got the best mixtape in the whole business. Well, I appreciate that, but this this right here gonna be way better than that mixtape. <laughs> right? Swear to God. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, they call him the White Chocolate Man. Um, Talk to us though, because everyone growing up, especially for me, like when I, I had my first watching you at Florida when I went there, and I'm gonna tell a great story about that. But how did you get? Because everyone thinks it just happened. So like, they I hear a bunch of crazy stuff about how you worked on it, gloves, wearing gloves, pounding, playing the grab. Like what? What was it that got you like this? For sure, it was that. You know, I did a lot of that. I worked on it just like you probably worked on your jump shot. Uh, yeah, he damn sure worked on his shot. For sure. Wouldn't come uh, to the club with us. <laughs> Wouldn't come to the club. For <laughs> Wouldn't hang out with the boys. That's right, because there wasn't nothing there. There <laughs> wasn't nothing going on no, there. Wasn't nothing nah, if I, you know, um, but yeah, I definitely worked on it in the in the gym for hours, dog. Like just dribbling, dribble, dribble, dog. Like, and then we go play. I couldn't get picked up on the team because I couldn't I couldn't really score. Y'all both played with me. I couldn't really score like I was supposed to. Um, I couldn't really get my shot off. So I had to learn somehow, some way to get to get on the floor. And I'm thinking I learned how to pass. I get y'all the ball. You like to shoot. People like to score, people like to shoot, so they're gonna pick me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you a dope story, and we're gonna get, this, is gonna, this podcast can go all over the place, so bear with us, because every time you talk, I'm gonna have a, a dope story for oh, you. I'm gonna forget <laughs> too, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this, is how, this is how good of a passer he was. I'm in, I'm in Memphis with him, playing for the first, the first year we got, we got to play in it. And that was back old school, it wasn't just all pick and roll. We had wide pin downs, 42 up, 42 down, 43 up. You know, all the stuff. Well, I had, had shooters everywhere. We had shooters everywhere. But he, uh, he literally told me, he said, man, you come off that screen, I bounce pass it, just drive. If I chest pass, you just shoot it. Wow. I'm thinking to myself, how you see that? Because he's like, <laughs> I'm like, you know what he thinks you got to look at to see if you, I'm going to be driving this one or if I'm going to be shooting this one? But I said, all right, I'm going to trust it. Bounce pass it, lay, chest pass it. I'm like, this is, this is bananas. Well, I'm thinking, you know, you guys just got to worry about coming off that joint and <laughs> shooting the right? Like, you ain't got time to worry about, like, the defender coming. You know, I can see where the defender going to shoot the gap. Yeah. He trailing yeah. or whatnot, whatever you're going to do. So... Like I said, if I throw it kind of, kind of behind you or whatever, the defender right there, you're gonna have to do something. But if it's there, let that fly. It's a real point guard killer. Oh real my god, guard. they don't really, got, they don't like really got those. You know, it's not really out there like it used to be. The point guard. Well, understand how good you gotta be to understand that stuff. You gotta worry about your defender. You gotta worry about the big defender. You gotta look, worry about my defender. Look, man, I, y'all had to be good. Y'all had to make. I just had to throw it to you. You keep saying y'all, yeah, man. No, I ain't getting no shots, <laughs> Jay Will. I was a <laughs> defender and rebounder. <laughs> I got them nine one ones. Shot clock right now. Make it. If Falcasaw used to do that to me, but I fire right back at him like, nah, he ain't gonna do it for 25 seconds. Throw it me, he throw it no, back sir. To him. Hit you with a grenade? Yeah, right back at you. Um, you know that grenade's the worst in the business. Oh the worst man, in the business. I used to hate the motherfuckers, man. You had to be efficient. You had to be efficient <laughs> on those. You only get like four shots, and two of them is nine one ones. Now you yeah. miss them, and then you got another one you might have missed. Now you one for four. You feel like you played like. <laughs> But back to your point about good point guards or whatever, uh, I don't think point guards can play like that nowadays. I think, I think these dudes got to get 30 for their teams to be successful. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't yeah. get – I mean, look at these point guards. If they ain't getting 25, 30, they're not winning. The, the problem is, is every, point. everything, every, everything basketball-wise now starts with the pick and roll. It starts trying to get the advantage somehow. And yes. if you can't shoot, people go under. Or if you, and if you do go under, then you still got to be an attack guy. Everything starts now with paint. If you can't get the paint, it's a wrap. But I don't, really, I don't, I don't, I don't get it, though. Like, you put Brian on the post – they got a double. They got a double. Yes. So you gonna if you just make the right pass, bomb, 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 you gonna get whatever you want. I mean, it sounds easy, but it ain't. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes common sense ain't so common, Jay Will. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody don't. You know what I'm saying? Then it's a different basketball game. You got guys who, if every time Bron went to the post and every time he went into the post, then somebody might not be happy. 
know what I'm saying? Even though that's winning basketball, and you should be happy with winning basketball, but you got to manage egos, you got to manage touches. It's like you got to worry about it out here nowadays. Shit, we ain't really worried about because all we cared about is winning. That's right. That's what what, what it's about. <laughs> nah, <laughs> well, I agree. <laughs> I agree. But I mean, more, more touches. There's be a lot of going on. Sometimes you got to focus on. Uh, well, go get an offense rebound. And get you a touch. But I will say is the improvement for us is when we had the big three. That after we lost that first year, that next year when Brown went into the post, when he yeah. spent that whole summer working with a king, yeah. and he went into that post, oh, it was lights out. Right. It was lights out. They couldn't do nothing with him. Oh, they can't they do nothing with him before then either. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's go back now. Uh, West Virginia. <clears throat> awesome. First of all, one of the greatest commercials of all time, I got them all over the place, was you and Randy Moss's. Like a Dukes of Hazard commercial, Nike commercial. Oh man, and we couldn't get away with that nowadays. No, you could. <laughs> you know it was the greatest. Bossy, bossy. It was the greatest commercial in the history of commercials. But talk about growing up in, in West Virginia. Uh, you know, playing with Randy. Was he any good? Moss. Yeah. Like what? Well, and I know what football. He's my favorite wide receiver of all time. So. No, he's not only your favorite. He's the best. The best. Thank you. Yeah. Jerry Rice. He was good. Now. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean take nothing away from Jerry. <laughs> Nothing. Moss was the man. Yeah, Moss he got he got his time. own slogan. You got Moss, right. which means you got your ass burnt. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So talk about that though, playing with him and and what that was like in, in West Virginia. Man, <clears throat> I was lucky my whole career, bro. Just starting young, you know, I got to play with with Moss, and I got to play with the dudes that I played with. So, like, the point of my what I'm trying to make is I I threw all these passes and like that, and, and I get all the credit for them. But I've done played with good teammates that caught them all, bro. Starting with Moss. So what I'm trying to say is I got the credit, and these dudes, all these dudes, including y'all, y'all caught some bad ones too <laughs> and finished. Need to get more credit than I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? So these highlight reels and that you're talking about. God, they're dope, though. Without y'all, bro, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a highlight reel. So, so, but back to the point. Moss, bad boy, whatever you wanted. You know, you wanted basketball, you wanted baseball, football, ping pong. So, so he was him. He was him. He was what? one of them dudes. He's a ping he pong was him. Man. He was one of them dudes. What? Or he was the first him. It'd be dudes like that, though, yeah. bro. It'd be dudes like that that just could do everything. He I'm sure everybody grew up in their neighborhood. It was one that could do everything. Yeah. The first time, go to the football field, throw the ball 60 yards. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Go to the basketball court, dunking, making layups. Playing golf, we ain't got no golf in the hood. My hit a hole in one. It's always somebody right. that you grew up with that's just naturally gifted and talented at everything. We all know hold those up, dudes. Hold up. Let me see that golf swing again. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You see, y'all know my ain't yeah. worth a damn because y'all play for real. <laughs> but the people at home would have knew that. <laughs> I'm used to putt putt. Yeah, yeah putt putt. So you go from there, and before you, we had we actually had Coach Donovan on here. And it was a great episode. But it was talking about recruiting you and, and, and some of those things. But before you went to anywhere in college, you went where? What school? Fork Union. Fork Union. How'd that, how'd that play? Well, <laughs> how'd that play out for you, Fork Coach? Fork Union. Well, I tell you, man, Fork Union is a great place. It's a great school. It's a great place for cats that ain't got their test score yet. I don't even know if they still do their test score, stuff like that. ACT and SAT I do COVID, this. I think, watched I all no that. I have no clue. This is the Wild Wild West out yeah, right, there now. Right, they paying Seven million, what they gotta have yeah, 16 yeah, like for? Get out of here. Like Dion say, 50,000 is barely get you a walk on. Yeah. <laughs> he said, they paid him 6 million. What they gotta get a 16 for? Yeah, I mean, well, what's, <laughs> what's that gotta do with anything? Um, <laughs> That's a funny. He ain't lying. He ain't but, lying. But Fork Union, bro, it's, it's a military school, man. If, if your kids or anything like that are in trouble, that's a good spot to send them. But that wasn't for me, dog. <laughs> I didn't have my test score yet, but. Uh, I had to go there because I wouldn't lose it, your eligibility. And, uh, bruh, after eight days. After, eight days? What? what? That's it. What? This is great. This is great. This is great. You did the third day, bruh, in English. I had an English class. The third day, we had a quiz with like 600 vocabulary words. Oh, no. Nah. Right, bruh. I don't even know 600 words right now. Str me neither. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. And if I know 600, I damn sure don't know the definition of <laughs> it. Some of them going to be cuss words for sure. <laughs> But yeah, Fork Union, bro. That's like, nah, man. It's not. It's not. It's not for a dude like me. So, but like I said, though, if your kids or somebody like that in trouble and need some help like that or get straightened out, send them right there. What happened when you called pops? Man, I'm like, look, you gotta come get me. Like, I'm like, nah, I can't do that. You know, like, it was like I, I had signed late, right? So, so there was no scholarships there, and it cost my dad like ten racks for me to go there. So, it was a lot of money back in the day. What? A lot of money today too. You know, 
question. Look, no question. Yeah. yeah, so my dad 10 racks. He, my dad making about, he making about 42 a year. Damn. Sheriff, right? Yeah, state Sheriff. police. Yeah, so, state so 10 of them. I heard. I split you I heard. to the white meat, dog. Split <laughs> <laughs> to the white meat. So I knew, I knew what time it was. I wasn't going to be able to get, have him come get me. So I shit, shit, I'm gonna, I was like, I knew, I remember riding there. It was like a seven mile ride. So I'm trying to think. That's going to be a long walk. Man. Like <laughs> in the dark, I don't know where I'm going or anything. So, so you tried to walk? No, I was fitting to, but I, 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 heard, I heard them stories about they get them dogs after you like that and I wasn't yeah. I wasn't trying to do all that. So. That's was like life, the gun. So line. I just said, well hell. Here, the gun line, boss. How else I'm gonna do it? So I just started skip, skipping class every day. That's where it started. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Billy Donovan in Florida can blame it on Fork Union <laughs> for me skipping class. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah that I, I started skipping class and my dad get a call a couple of days after that, da 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 next thing you know my dad shows up. And I had got a tattoo before I left, bro, to go to Fort Union, like a little Superman S, about like an inch by inch. But that, that's the, I thought that was like this, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we're in there hooping. I didn't know my dad was coming. Now I got, I got my shirt off, and my dad just sitting over there. And I'm like, oh, Lord, I got this tattoo, da, da, da. The first thing that came to my mind. As soon as we lost, my dad was like, you know, nah, come on over here. <laughs> and anytime I, my pops, when he did that, and my ass was getting whooped. You know, like, damn, right? So he brought me over there, like, da, da, da. Next thing you know, we're riding home for seven hours. That was the longest. I like, I'm thinking like every 15 minutes, he just gave it a like a, yam, yeah, yam, yeah, yam, yeah. <laughs> like, like three or four whacks. Like every, oh, like every 15 minutes, but I knew it was coming. So I just tried to ball up every 15 minutes and just take it. Uh, but yeah, Fort Union, man, shout out to Fletcher Eric. Gave me a shout, uh, chance though, coming there. But no, nah, it wasn't for me, though. It's not, it's not for, it's not for, it's not for everybody. It's military, dog. You gotta make your bed. Oh no! Yes. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no TV in your room. You ain't got no lock on your door. No. You ain't. You, you might have to salute a sixth grader. You got more rank than you. He been there longer than you, man. Nah, man, yeah, you nah, don't beat nah, it. Nah, like, all that. nah, I ain't with that. Yeah, no, right. it's not for everybody. Nah. Not for that shit sound like it ain't for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> sound like it ain't for it's nobody. For, it's for the ones that's in the making my own bed and saluting. And shit. Yeah. Get out of here. No clothes. You got. You ain't got no clothes. You got three or four shirts that they give you. Nah. And uh, let me say, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, from David Robinson might have wore them shirts back in the day. When he went to that. <laughs> say the admiral. Yeah. And then you got to pay them ten racks to come to that mother. Yeah. Oh, they got like two or three scholarships. Okay. But you got to get them early. You know what I'm saying? You I'd came already, late. Yeah, I came late. I was because I, I signed with Providence, and I had the only way I could get out of my mm. scholarship without losing uh, eligibility. Providence. So you was gonna go with Billy? Was Bitch, Billy I'd have really lost seven years eligibility <laughs> to go to Fort Union. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> was Billy at Providence then? Billy was, was no, he was at Kentucky. He was at yeah. Kentucky, okay. Recruit me a little bit yeah. okay. my, 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 my uh, senior year. Yeah. And then when push come to shove, Patino needed a, a freshman guard to play major minutes. Yeah. Okay. He wouldn't think I was ready. Okay. So he stopped recruiting me, and then Billy went to Marshall. Yeah. Okay. That's in between time I went to uh, Fork Union. I talked to Billy already prior to my dad. Yeah. Like before I quit Fork, uh, Fork Union, I knew I was going to play with Billy at Marshall. Yeah. Yeah. So you already yeah. plan. Yeah. And he takes you to Marshall, and then that, that takes you from there because obviously Coach Donovan gets a job at Florida. You go with him to Florida. That's where I seen this. No, nah, listen, let me tell you something. That's you're where the reason, I seen this crazy reason Florida only cut you in or cut it out. They owe you some money because you're the reason a lot of us went. That game on TV against Kentucky, nah, nah. at Kentucky, we were sold. I gotta, I gotta that great, game on TV gotta, at Kentucky in Rupp Arena, look, when y'all went up there look, and you got no, busy, I got a story. Don't talk. we were sold. I got a story. Bruh. I got a story. My brother, they're recruiting me at Florida, obviously. My brother Ryan goes and works the camp. He goes coaches camps, those summer league camps. You know, the summer camps? And he's down there. Yeah, he goes, yeah, he no, goes, I'm yeah. working them. Yeah. That's the only way I can get bread. <laughs> he, he, came, he came back, he said, yo, this dude Jay Will is so cold, doing this, this, this. So I, I go on my visit like three weeks later, and I'm like, they're playing pickup. I said, which one's Jay Will? And they said, him. I said, damn, he's white? <laughs> <laughs> the, way, the, way, the way my brother was talking the story, I was like, there's no way he white. And then I get there, and I'm not the, the, the coldest player I've ever seen. We're playing pickup. This motherfucker's on a three on one fast break. And all you hear when the rebound comes, let ride, let ride. <laughs> all you want to do is get on the offensive. Let ride, let ride. We on a three on one. I'm running to the left, and I think it was maybe B dub or someone running on the right. This throws the ball down, boom, catches it in his shirt. Oh, yeah. Bop. Punches that ball, the ball wraps around and kicks it to the middle of the right that, leg. Yeah. Man, I was like, man, I'm out of here, man. I'm going yeah. back to South Dakota. Yeah. I don't belong here. Look, I remember that.
for one. I don't know Florida nothing, bro. Oh, they don't owe me anything. I probably owe them, dog. <laughs> Poor Tom Williams, is I put him through, dog. The counselor, our, our, our class counselor, Hey, listen. Them was a football school, J. Will. Until you showed up. Mm. We ain't really counting um, what his name was, Lon Kruger them. I don't even yeah. know about the Florida yeah. Gator basketball. No the disrespect me hook, bro. The me hook. <laughs> the me hook, dog. I don't, listen, no disrespect. I don't know nothing about that. What I do know is when y'all got y'all together and y'all did y'all thing in Kentucky on national TV, a lot of us were sold. My generation, my era. Well, guess what? We ain't go because of the clerk and Andrew Meat Hook. No disrespect <laughs> to the Meat Hook. But that's not why we went. That's just straight real. That's, that's not why we went. After that Kentucky, Kentucky game, they sold my ass up out of there, too. <laughs> Get on up out of here, my man. That was it for me. But, so, hold on, though. The past I talk about, where does it come from, for real? I don't know, man. Just like. Because that, that, like, who thinks of that on a three-on-one fast yeah. break? On your shirt. Catch it a bit. Boom. Yeah. I'm like, listen, if you spend as much time in the gym as me just dribbling, just like, like I've been on this earth 48 years, probably 17 of them years I was dribbling. Damn. You know what I mean? Just dribbling. No matter where I was at. Also, it was like, I think these kids get it, they get it confused nowadays because every kid got a trainer. Every one. Yeah. Yeah. Every one, dog. Like, and you go to the gym with your trainer, you're going to do this for the first 15 minutes. All right. Now he's going to tell you, come over and we're going to do this for 15. Then we're going to do that. Whereas, like, I'm not, I'm not hating on the trainers, you know, get that bread or whatever, do your thing. But you're asking me the question and I'm giving you the answer. When I was in the gym, I ain't had no trainer. So, so I'm thinking on off, off the rip, like, I'm coming down, da da da. Ain't nobody in the gym, and I'm, hmm, hmm. And I pick it up, I get across half court, pick up my dribble. But you ain't supposed to pick your dribble up one dribble across half court in the corner. No. So now I'm getting trapped, right? And now I'm working on all these pivots, like, oh, I'm gonna have this do this silly ass pivot. You like, if you're looking through the window or something, you're like, what is this dude doing, right? <laughs> but look, I might get caught in the game. I need to do this crazy ass pivot. The only way I can get out, we ain't got no timeouts. I gotta get through that. I can't get trapped on. So I gotta get through this pivot. So my point is, these kids ain't got that imagination. Yeah. Because they're just working on this basic pivot, you know, the da da da. So they get in the game and they'll be like, oh, what it is? Throw the bitch up in the air. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I think it comes from, the imagination. I mean, everybody is, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, most of these guys working out with the same trainers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You got a handful of guys that everybody kind of rotate in between. So there really is not the opportunity to be as creative. Like you said, you had that imagination when you was in the gym by yourself. I remember a lot of times we just, by yourself, five, four, three, two, one, you make a move and you count down the shot clock and you shoot it. And you just do that over and over and there's nobody in the gym with you. You just by yourself doing shit like that. Kids don't really get the opportunity to do that shit no more. No, nah, they you know trying to chuck that up there and get a three. Man. <laughs> that's what they up. trying to do. My, and they ain't even practicing this shit. They no, just seen it on TV that's and right. fired it up. They watch Steph on, on, on YouTube. Now they, they think they can just shoot now. Just, that's just because they watched him shoot like that. They don't know buddy is shooting in the gym right now somewhere probably practicing. For sure. Man. You know what I'm saying? For they sure. have no clue. None. No, they have no clue. Prize picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. With the basketball season here, you can now pick combo projections across football and basketball. From the Specials League, a league created specifically for combo projections that includes two or more players from different sports or leagues. For example, LeBron James plus a Travis Kelsey at a 10.5 combo of three-pointers made and receptions. Do you want to play alongside some of Prize Picks' favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz? You can now find Community Plays under the Promos tab of the app. To view entries from some of the biggest names in prize pick community, go to prizepicks.com slash OGs and use code OGs for a first deposit match of up to a hundred dollars. So I even gotta ask you, what's your take on on like, you know what I'm saying, today's game? What you think you would do today's game? Man, I think I'd be a problem in that open floor, bro. Like Ain't um, no think. You would be. But but I think what what would hurt me though, I couldn't score like I needed would need to score for our teams to be successful. Why do you keep saying that? Uh, just, I mean, just because you man I can't guard Jay Will. Well, I mean, I'm gonna chuck it now. I'm gonna get I'm gonna chuck it up there now. Some <laughs> nights I'm gonna get you, but you know, these dudes are more like, you know, they're trying to get in there and get fouled and when they I ain't, I'm trying to I don't want no contact at <laughs> all, dog. I'm trying to get a skirt, skirt. <laughs> you know, I, like back in my day when you cut through the paint, you just might get a you know, somebody be standing like that, you run into that, that hurts. But nowadays, you know, that's a foul or some shit. But yeah, like I, I, didn't, I didn't want none of that contact, but, but I average, I average 
guard you. I'll tell you that. No, they wouldn't be able to guard. Like, they couldn't guard you. They couldn't guard me then when they was backpedaling. <laughs> if, if, once, if you started backpedaling, I'm coming at you, you might as well just start running past me. You know, get on, go on back down that way. You cooked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I do know what you're saying, because I remember those days. This, and this, in, this, in, this, in, no, in, in Memphis, I thought I was hell in Memphis, because I had him on one wing, and people don't remember Wes Person on the other wing. Ooh, Ratchet. Ooh, Wes. Like, Wes Person, Gun. man. What? Wes, man, I remember Wes. I tell Wes. people all the time, like, the best, one of the best shooters I've ever played I remember with. Wes like, who person. is that, bro? Like, Wes Person, man? One, of the, one of the most racist people I ever met, too, Oh, dog. yeah. Love him to death, dog. Yeah. I love him person, to no, death, for bro. sure. I remember playing with Wes. One, man, I'm telling yeah, you, Wes you <laughs> He was, huh? <laughs> great. He's great. That's who y'all need to get on the show, dog. West P. He would be funny, yeah. wouldn't he? Yeah. Funny. That so was so funny. You, you get you get dismissed from Florida after what? Twenty games? Seventeen. Seventeen games. Seventeen. Seventeen games. Damn. You, what, what? That's it. <laughs> Should have been fourteen, but I got suspended the first three of the season. He's still he's still a Gator. Oh no, he's yeah, he's still a Gator. He's a legend. So <laughs> so what happened? What happened? What was the deal? Man, you know, shoot. Um, they just didn't see, you know, they didn't like my extracurricular. You know what I'm saying? Now we talking. You know what I'm saying? You got yeah. him sitting up now. Now yeah. we talking. But, 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 but what it was is like, you know what I'm saying? I was cool with the football boys. They, they had the same extracurriculars, but they didn't never get in trouble. Yeah. But I'm thinking they was winning national championships and shit, so. <laughs> ain't no like rules for playmakers. Earlier, win, winning cures everything. You so damn right. They, they ain't no rules for playmakers. It cures it all, all that, You know, they driving Lex trucks and, and, and Beamers and shit like that. Is with a boot on it, over there. <laughs> little Chevy Cavalier. My you know had a boot on it for a minute yeah. too. Yeah, we, we all had the fake boots. Boot. We, we all had did. those boots. We all had those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, even y'all had boots. Oh man, I had a boot man. on them. That makes me feel a little bit better now. <laughs> Listen, I had never heard the, the term "left hand cigarette" before until, <laughs> until <laughs> Billy was talking about Jay Will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had we a coach out here. He said, "Yeah, you like the life left hand cigarette." I say, I say, we just call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Billy was like, he liked to smoke them left hand cigarettes. Right. First time I heard it was he, he he said the same thing to me. I never heard what that is. That's what he said. Like I failed the second test at Florida. You supposed to fail three before you get kicked off. You know what I'm saying? But he told me after the first one, I was, it was fair. He told me if I failed another, one, he's gonna kick me off. I wasn't. I was here. Well, I, I mean, I just. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. <laughs> that's coming. I just hope I get a couple more games into me. <laughs> but it's happening, you know? Um, but, yeah, that happened. He pulled me in the, into the uh, office, bro, and, like, he had the mesh bag. You know, we put all the gear in, you know, the laundry Damn. bag. He had all my shit in, out of my locker already in that. Damn. Yeah, picked that up. Slung that bitch up, bone hip. <laughs> Damn, I'm like, well, see, damn, dog. We ain't seen this side of it. <laughs> no, I like yeah, that. I, I like never that. seen that. I like I like, that. I and like that's that. when he said the first thing about left-handed cigarettes, that's what you're going to choose. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, I ain't never smoked a cigarette in my life. <laughs> like, never. <laughs> like, never, dog. Like, what is, what is he talking about? And then I, and then I finally, I, he was mad, dog. Like, mad. Like, and then I finally figured out what he was talking about. He was like, what are you going to do? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> You know, I don't know what my dad gonna say. You know, my dad's a state policeman. Yeah. What are you gonna? I'm, I'm more embarrassed about. I'm more embarrassed not, not for me, not for you, not for anybody, but my, my dad got to go to work and face his friends, brother, state police that, that every day they talk about weed or they talk about drug. You know, da da da. Now he gotta face that music. Like, yeah. damn, I'm, I'm worried about that. But gotta face it. It's happening, right? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. If my dad gonna let me come back and stay there or what? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. So what happened? He said, well, you can come live with me. And I was like, well, man, that's dope. But I know I'm, I know I'm keeping them left-hand cigarettes in my <laughs> pocket. That, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. So one thing led to another. Nick Anderson, I saw we, I got to play a game against Florida State at the Orlando or Magic Arena. Yeah. Okay. And he came, saw me play. And I, I hooped. I guess I played good. And his agent. He told his agent, and the next thing I got a call from that, his agency. And then I moved in with him in Orlando and started working out for the uh, like pre-draft workouts and stuff like that. Oh, Were you expecting okay. to go seven? No, nah, not really. Not when all that went down. I, I expected to play in the NBA somehow, some way. Um, but but no, nah, I mean, I hadn't played against nobody. I hadn't played against anybody. But, 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 but my guys at Florida, that's the best 
players that I have played against. Eddie Shannon, Kenny Weeks, Major Parker, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, there was a Brent Wright. These dudes was the best dudes that I have ever seen in my life. You know, I played AAU and things like that, but but where I played AAU wasn't yeah. wasn't nothing like that. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like Mike team. Yeah. Kind of like that. He ain't seen nothing like that until he came to Florida. Man. Yeah. I ain't never seen nothing like that till I seen him. Bro. He, he had to rebound and pass it to himself. I like that. <laughs> he, I like that. He had to do everything. I like that. Yeah, he had to do everything. Like Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch, catch, and hit that bitch. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. But when I came back to Miami, it's just like how Mike said what his brother said about you. When I came back to Miami, I said, I seen this and we ain't heard about this kind of but I seen a unicorn. <laughs> can go. I had never seen it before. I heard it was white guys out there that can hoop. I just ain't never seen nothing in Miami. Never you got seen black it. and Latino. That's all you gonna get down here. Come on, man. Give Steve Blake some 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 love. Steve Blake is That's my guy. We, we played golf a lot Listen, together, dog. It's only one Steve Blake, though. Oh, yeah. Did Steve tell you that we kicked his ass out the gym the whole summer before Frank finally let him come to Miami High? So that's probably why he whooped everybody's ass Yo, now. Steve Blake a tough <laughs> You ain't got to tell me. A tough <laughs> so, quick side note. Steve Blake came to the gym all summer to play pickup with us. He, Cause he went to kill him. We went to Miami High. Frank told him, "I cannot accept you in this school. I cannot let you come here." Long story short, go by the whole summer. We end up letting Steve come to Miami High. Soon as that to Miami High, Miami High on probation. Miami High cheating. Miami High this. They ain't care when all the black kids was coming. Really? As soon as we got one white boy, oh, the <laughs> hit the fan. We was on the news and the media and all that long listen as long as you kept the little ghetto boys it was okay once you got the white boy all oh, that was we was the worst team in the world like go look it up bro nobody cared about our winning we got the most state championships in the state of florida nobody ever gave a until we got steve really yeah and y'all did it y'all did it right y'all wasn't cheating nah nah we ain't have to cheat i the believe it bro the school, the, I you don't believe I'm, it no, listen, it got to the point where the school recruited itself old. it got to the point where the school recruited itself if you want to win you come to miami high at the end of the day, it's only so many schools that was playing good basketball in South Florida. You're right. Yeah, yeah. it ain't like South Dakota. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got <laughs> we ain't got a lot of hoopers. You know what I'm saying? We got it's all football down here. So we had Steve Blake. With, Steve Blake was a cold mother, Tell and he was tough. I know. As I know. He was supposed to come to Florida with us. Steve Blake was his son played the same way. Really? For real? So he's a sophomore. Yeah, he go to my daughter's high school. Really? How big is he? Uh, he's not very big, uh, but it's the same way, dog. He don't, he don't get enough burn though. The coach does him wrong. I, I, I think said, personally. Tell Blake I said hello. Man. I will. I, I, I think I think his son should get more burn. Yeah. But that's I ain't never coached a game in my life, dog. <laughs> here I am trying to tell this man how to coach. He been coaching high school ball for 77 years. That don't matter, Jay. I know, but still, just, still can't. How coach. many years? But uh, 77. And he, he probably still can't coach. Well, I no mean, he won state I don't know him. But, but I mean, I ain't never coached not one not nam game, dog. But you one, could. Couple AAU games. You could if you wanted to, because you know the game. These kids don't want to listen. That's true. Yeah, that's, now that's true. I ain't got time for that. They don't listen. I got a hard time getting my own kids to listen. And get somebody else goddamn kid to listen. And I can kick my kids in the ass. You can't kick nobody else kid in the ass. You get in you trouble. You damn sure can't kick your own in the ass no more. <laughs> get in trouble for Just that Just like too. you said when you was riding home and your pops was putting them paws Man. on your ass. You can't do that no more. Nah. You can't do that no more. I'm thankful for the ass whoopers I got. Me too, though. Maybe a man. Go. Well, I'll be honest with you. You have half a brain, though. You're only going to do it so many times, you get a good ass whooping. You don't keep doing it. That's right. I never got my ass whooped for the same thing. No, twice. ever. And not, 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 not. Yeah, smart man. So yeah, you go, man. So, so you go to Florida, you go to Orlando, work out. Like, what was your train of thought going into the draft? Man, I was just trying to get in the best shape of my life. Um, <laughs> Shape's never been your issue, though, bro. Not really. Not at all. You run off the. You run, right now. You go run all day. Ooh, I don't know about that, dog. My wind. You said you went on an elliptical yesterday. I told you hey, I went he, on an elliptical yesterday. And what night. happened to your feet? Well, I think, I think, I think. If you turn me inside out, I look like a raisin. <laughs> like, like just dried up, dog. Like seriously, I drink this. I don't drink enough water, dog. It's like straight soda. I drink a lot of water. Do you? I drink a lot of See, water. I wish I, I mean, did. You know that gas keep your mouth dry, man. You gotta, it does. You gotta, it does. You gotta drink water when you got gas on your chest. Inside out, I look like a raisin. You, gotta, you know why you look like a raisin? That gas. <laughs> yeah, 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 I might yeah. look like a, I might look like one too on this. But side. but yeah, I'm just trying to get in the best shape, dog. And because I knew I was going to have to work out against some of these dudes that I was in the uh, draft against. And all these, like I said, the Mike Bibbies, the, the Rafer Austins, the Ty Lues, all these dudes, mm. they done played against each other and everybody knows what it is. Ain't nobody seen me play, but Chuck Landon from the Gazette in West Virginia, <laughs> that's it. That's all seen me, you know? Um, Chuck who? Chuck Landon, yeah. From the Gazette? Yeah, Daily Mail. And, Shout out Gazette. Yeah, that's right. Chuck? 
Yeah. So, so you go, give me some workout stuff because on this side of things, like for all these kids going out, you know, the season's about to come to an end, process, you go work out, but then you go to these workouts. Talk to you about You might work out for the teams, yeah. like these different draft picks. Yes. Yeah. Well, like I think the Clippers, the Clippers and uh, I forget who had the second pick, man. I forget. I could maybe the Grizzlies. I don't remember. Well, who went? Yeah, to it was the Grizzlies. Yeah, it was it was Bibby, right? Yeah, Bibby. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, the Clippers. Nah, nah, no, well, I'm not going to work out for the Clippers. Fuck, they're not taking me one. <laughs> yeah. they, they, well, now they want you to come. They want you to come work. Nah, why? Yeah. Why not, not wasting my time nor their time. They're not picking me one, right? No one ain't gonna go out there. You know what I'm saying? And make me look like an idiot or something. Whatever yeah. for whatever reason, right? Um. So I, I didn't work out for them, but but. There were some dudes that wouldn't, wouldn't, they found out I was, I found this on the late, on the back end. I'm, I'm finna show up for this workout. There's some dudes that wouldn't show up for the workout. You feel me? Like, or like. They some, didn't want that smoke. They didn't want that smoke. Yeah. No, they didn't. Yeah. But I didn't know that then. Like, I didn't even know what that was, but I wanted it all. I, mean, I wanted to just play you, that's you, a, and that's yeah. y'all want to go three on one? I'm yeah. coming at that's three on one. I think I same, can do it. That's the yeah. same way I would. Right? Like, I love that. like that's what it is. And, and if you beat me, so what? Let's just strap up again, right? Um, but yeah, some of them dudes didn't want to come to those workouts, but some of them did. And some of them got what they wanted, you know what I'm saying? Um, but that definitely helped me, helped my draft stock a lot because I was in the best shape of my life and I was going to these dudes racks, you know what I'm saying? Um, and some dudes, they, they pulled in some dudes from like some teams like Stanford and, and Long Beach State, you know, mm-hmm. guys that not necessarily was going to get drafted just to make the workouts even. Like maybe we're going two on two drills, three on three drills. Here I am trying to dunk, catch lobs on like 6'10 dudes. You know, I ain't got no chance of trying to dunk these dudes, but I'm still just, just trying to do it because I'm just trying to show them like, yeah. damn, this dude can do that. Like yeah. I ain't got, I got a better chance of pissing in a hot sauce bottle than dunking <laughs> this ball, dog. And here I am trying to do that. But, but things like that, like full court, anything full court, one-on-ones and shit like rap. that. Yeah, Ooh. it's a wrap. But, but shooting drills is where I, I, I kind of struggled. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't dig shooting drills. I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't know why I didn't like shooting. Like stand still, spot up shooting. Mm-hmm. And, and, and looking back now in my career, I wish that's all I would have done, the ball handling shit, because all I did was pass the bitch to go stand my ass in the corner most of my career. Stop you know lying. Hey, man, man the, if y'all listen, ain't over here watching this shit, pull up. The hesitation, pull up was, the hesitation pull up was crazy. Yeah, I used to tell folks too, like, I get the rebound, Allah pass it. You see me throw it in my left hand. You, it's a hole. It's a yeah, pole. just stop running down because it's going up. Yeah. <laughs> it's going up. <laughs> so then you get drafted to, I think, the dopest jersey. Yeah. Still yeah. My, one of my favorite jerseys. Even though I won a championship. This, no, this is not gas. This is not gas. That's the dopest jersey. That's where you kind of hit the scene and just blew up. Yeah. The white chocolate came out. You f***ed them up with this one. Yeah. You f***ed them up with this that one. That team was dope too, by the way. It was a good team. And, you know, we got lucky too. I don't think people realize too. It was a lockout year. So we only had to play like 50 games. So we was rocking like we might play Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in LA, Seattle, Denver, man, so to get it on. You know what I'm saying? We didn't come east, but like we would only come east like two weeks. It was like one two week trip and we played how many ever games in two weeks. We didn't ever play everybody in the east because it was like I said, 50 games. We had to play everybody in our conference. Mm. And we didn't really have a backup point guard that year too, so my coach had to let me rock. Wasn't nothing he could do. Who, who gave you the name, White Chocolate? Where Man, I think it was from? some lady in the uh, PR department out there. Really? Yeah. I don't think that would fly today in today's society <laughs> either, dog. You know, these you soft-ass right. people, right? You might be right. No, I ain't might. Ain't no <laughs> might about it, dog. They that shit ain't, that shit ain't flying. Yeah, they sensitive today. You know? <laughs> well, we loved it. I do, too. We loved yeah, it. I, I liked it. I mean, it didn't bother me a bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. I don't, there's probably some folks in West Virginia that ain't, ain't, ain't feeling it. <laughs> um, but that's Ain't cool. no probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right back at him. Ain't no uh, problem. Right back at him. <laughs> Ain't no problem. For sure, for sure. White yeah. chocolate. Yeah. He won those. Yeah. We, 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 could, we adopted him. He over here. <laughs> I remember my, my dad, my dad, rest his soul, bro. My dad came down first game in Florida to watch me play. We come out of the game. We're walking, you know, we're walking to the dorm. And Fred Taylor, Javon Curse, and Ike Hilliard about, about 30 yards down there. And they like, hey, white boy. <laughs> my dad says, son. <laughs> Are they talking to you? <laughs> I said, yeah, Dad, let's just keep it moving. What's good? <laughs> Listen, that's a term of endearment. You're right. You're right. We appreciate you. Hey. You I know pre- what I'm saying? And you know what? I appreciate y'all because without y'all, the bros, I wouldn't be sitting here today, dog. Seriously. Listen, I tell Mike all the time, like, at the end of the day, we understand, yeah, you white, but motherfucker, we, when, we, when I see Mike, I was, at the end of the like, we don't see white boys that can hoop that much growing up. You ain't got to whisper, dog. We don't, we, don't, we don't see that 
dog. Like, we don't see white boys that can hoop that much. So, like, we love that. There ain't no hating. Like, we love that. When we see a white boy that can hoop, we love that. My daddy's favorite player, and I don't tell people this all the time, my daddy's favorite player was Larry Bird. <laughs> and I don't like Celtics. But my daddy's favorite player was Larry, Larry Bird. Was my daddy loved man. Larry Bird. His favorite player was Larry Bird. For, for a good reason. <laughs> straight up and down. For a good like, straight reason. Straight up and down like 6 o'clock. Not no joy. Not no Patrick Ewing. Not no my daddy's favorite player was Larry Bird. Like, Bad boy. That could go. go to have, though. That could go. It does shock me that his favorite player is Larry Bird, though. It, it shocked me, too. <laughs> it, shocked, <laughs> it shocked me, too. Shocked, no, shocked. damn, daddy, no magic, no Kareem. No, nah, motherfucker, that Bird. That's my mother Bird. That's all he care for, my Bird. Yeah, there ain't too many people whose favorite player is Larry Bird. No, I'm right there. Who's your favorite player, Killer? Growing up? Yeah. I mean, I caught the tail end of Larry. So I would have to say probably Jordan is my favorite player. But Larry was, I mean, obviously, you know, I loved everything about him. Talking shit, hooping. Yeah. Not afraid of nothing. You? My favorite player ever, bro. Yeah. Like growing up? Yeah. It's gotta be Jason Kidd. Mm. That's the only jersey I ever owned was the Dallas Mavericks 5 jersey. Um, uh, for one, I ain't really know, not that it really matter. I ain't know if bro was white or black when he was at Cal. <laughs> All I saw, bro, was him get that jump off the, off the glass, dribble that jump up the, up the floor, and, and maybe dunk on you or throw that thing like that, you know? So I started watching him early. He was so cold. No, he man, was cold. he was so cold. The funny thing is, is, like, we caught him at the end. Obviously, he beats us in the finals, which is a horrible experience. Man. But his game was just so much different towards the end. And people don't understand. Like, it's, it's, that's the part that I struggle with the most is when you had playing 17 seasons is seeing all these young kids come in, and they start seeing the Shaqs, the D-Wades, the J-Kids at the end of their careers. And mm -hmm. they're like, they're kind of looking inside. I said, if you only knew. Right? Yeah. They had no clue. If you only knew. They right? have no clue. Because it's just father time beats everybody, but gosh, damn. It no, does. They have no clue. But JK they, they got no clue. No. no JK used to get a no post, bro. I'm playing D. I took, look, my, my goal, I didn't care if he shot it and scored 900 points on me, <laughs> but my goal was just to try to put this, these two fingers in his side, in his rib cage. I'm trying to touch these two fingers through his rib. Like, I'm trying to, <laughs> but and, and he, one time I swore to God, he'd be like, oh. And I was just trying to get in the past up out of there but <laughs> anything I could do because you know what I'm saying what is he gonna what are you gonna do if you yeah, don't get it I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to make a double team come because that's gonna be a wide open shot over no, there right. for somebody and that whoever guarding buddy gonna be looking at me sideways at the end of the game you don't want to be the guy that can't no nah, and then right. I damn you don't sure be that guy no nah, and I damn sure need your help and so you don't play, stop helping me man <laughs> yeah and you played in an era in the league where it wasn't all those pick and f rolls no nah, we're going straight to the post. post man if you saw a mismatch oh. you that get out the way. Yeah, we going buddy, right here till he can stop it, buddy. <laughs> I, I learned. I learned really quick when I got in the league. I learned really quick. You either better get a stop the first possession, or you better foul the out of. Are they gonna make you miserable? They talk about feed the pig mentality. Like if you, if, and now again, this is our side of the table. Being white and being young and being drafted high, they went at my neck every time. Oh, and it was like it was like yo, and that was back when you, the legal defense you couldn't come across. That's right. It was a nail. That's why. I, that's another explanation. It was island. It was you were on an island. If you didn't stop that dude, See, or when, when, the, when, the, when the goat, when the goat, when the goat conversation is talked about, the illegal defense is never talked about. No. But carry on. <laughs> no. <laughs> never talked about. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like that's you learned that let like dog. You you didn't want to be the one. Like and and and, Doc, and Coach Doc Rivers was my coach, and he was like, "Yo, don't don't be that dude now. We gotta start running helps for don't." So you figured out real quick. I agree. I, I and you know what? I, I will agree with that killer. Cause on the flip side of that, it, as much as we love to see a white boy that can hoop, we was for sure he probably couldn't guard. <laughs> <laughs> we was for sure he probably couldn't guard. So yeah. we definitely understood that. So I, I get you on that. But I will say this: it was some that could guard. Oh, it was some that could guard. I used to love Dan Marley. Dan Marley. I used to love. I used to love Thunder Dan. Obviously, I'm a Heat guy, so I used to love Thunder Dan. He was a tough. You know what I'm saying? But so, look, bro, if you got them other four dudes on, on, on that string with you, white, purple, pink, black, gray, or green, you can guard. <laughs> call, it a, call it again. What is it again? A string. A string. They don't play defense like that no more. It's no. five guys on a string. Yeah. That's what defense was. Yeah. Five guys on a string. Yeah. They don't do that no more. Like, when I played in Orlando with Dwight Howard, man, go, go on down there if you want to. <laughs> like, it's people that caught – like, I, I ain't never been in that situation, but I'm sure, like, like scores, like Braun and these dudes, Kobe and these dudes – they catch the ball on the wing and see Dwight Howard down. If they just looking and see Dwight down there, nah. Just, like, I ain't worried about this primary defender. Them dudes ain't. 
That's nothing. Like, I don't even see you. They're never worried. It doesn't matter who it is. But a dude like Dwight or some, uh, somebody like that, is the, like Go Gobert or somebody that's coming, they thinking twice about that. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, everybody thinking twice of Dwight down now. Well, <laughs> you might be right. But <laughs> Nowadays, everybody thinking twice of Dwight down now. Hey. But even, the refer- you- even the referee's thinking twice. <laughs> hey, but I know one thing, though. He coming over and beating that up. <laughs> he going to beat it up. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> hey, seriously. All right. All right. Next topic. What's your top five bigs? You play with a lot of great bigs. You, one of them, you named top Dwight. Top five that I played with? Dwight, Shaq, C-Web, Vladdy d smoking the cigarettes. You had a lot. You the played with The top five a, that I played yeah, with. Top five you played with. Oh, man. Well, Shaquille O'Neal is the best five ever. He's on Sha- my Shaq start. is number one. Yeah, for me, it's like top five. Right, starting top five, five ever. All time. My starting five. Me too. Uh, Dwight Howard. Dwight too. Uh, Powell Gasol, does he count as a big? Yes. We can take Powell in there. God, he was so good. Man. <laughs> uh, Chris Webber. Yep. See, well. Uh, I'm trying to think. That's four, right? Yep. Yeah, that's four. Got one more. Shaq. You had, we remember we had Zoe. He was older, but you played with Zoe. Man, I'll take Zoe over anybody right now, too. Just defensively. Shot blocking. Offensively, we, you know what I'm saying? We got somebody else to score. Yeah. But shot blocking and, and defensively, nah, you don't get much job. better than that. He did his job. Yeah. Nah, he Can't jump job. over a phone book, but he going to block that. He ain't give a damn about getting dunked on. No. He did his job every night. I always decided I cracked jokes, but Dwight was a like, On the basketball Dwight, floor? Yeah, he was a well, the young he Dwight no, Howard. No doubt about it, he should be top 75, dog. Yeah, facts. There's no doubt about I it. Yeah, I ain't going to even argue that. I agree. I ain't going to even argue that. He dominated. And, and he was, and his number should be retired in Orlando too. Yep. No doubt. Right? No doubt. No doubt. You got to get credit where credit due now. Yeah. That was tough. Now, that was now, a what he, now, now, what he does outside of seven and nine o'clock <laughs> on game day, I, I, ain't, I don't know what's cracking there, yeah. and nor do I care. It's not none of my business. But, <laughs> mm-hmm. but come seven to nine? Yeah, I don't even want to know. Like, there's not too many guys, if any, that you can think about as played in the NBA that can, that can, that can control a game, the whole game without getting one play ran for him. No. He's one of them. Listen. Maybe the only one. No, listen, that was a, that was a matchup that when you had that matchup that night or the next day, you- You, you, you going had, to bed that night, yeah. you ain't you, going you know, none. You know you yeah. got work coming. Yeah. You know you got work coming. It's my, oh, like, oh, he was strong as shit, all over the glass, athletic. Yeah. Even yeah. in practice, it was like that, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like, when he just like turns to like, he not meaning to elbow you, but you, y'all being hit with him, man, yeah. like down yeah. there. Yeah, I got But not, not on purpose though, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like when Shaq was backpedaling, when he's like shooting a free throw, when I was against Shaq or whatever, sometimes I'm standing in the backcourt and you guys running back. I got to sidestep Shaq or whatever. You know, I'm getting out of that way, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm not trying to get hit by these dudes. Man, at least a lot of people don't know this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the first like incident that I had with Dwight was he elbowed me in the ear and bust my eardrum. I had uh-huh. a perforated eardrum. Uh-huh. And from that point on, every time I played that motherfucker, it was on. It was, it was on. Somebody was going to get up, either me or you, but you done bust my Right. So a lot of people don't know that that part of like the stuff that I had with the white going back and forth literally started because the big ass elbows coming in there swinging each way. They hit me in my goddamn ear and bust my goddamn eardrum. I don't think people know. <laughs> Probably didn't even know you can get bust, get your eardrum bust from that. Sound fun. Yeah, he, he elbowed me in the motherfucking ear and I had a perforated eardrum, and that's when it started. I was like, yeah, every time I play this, I gotta protect myself. Can you hear out of that ear today? Yeah, yeah, I could hear. Yeah, I could hear. Yeah, everything worked, but <laughs> at the end of the day, that started something. That's good though. Whatever. You can't you can't get me and I don't get you back. I agree. Yeah, I wasn't raised like that. I'm my I daddy's agree. son. Yeah, I'm my daddy's son. You can't get me and I don't get you back. Hey, I you, agree. Hey, you said something in there too. Like if it doesn't affect seven o'clock, basically, that reminds me of Hubie Brown. Huh. He always Hubie was the best man. He's like as long as it doesn't affect seven o'clock. But I'll tell you a funny ass story. I get to, I get traded to Memphis, <clears throat> and we're in practice, and that's been we practice in the pyramid. I'm geeked up. You got traded. You got to sit out. You badass back the first three, four games. <laughs> damn. I'm like, damn. Oh, that like, back what? been bad a long time. Yeah. God damn. Coach, I was bad. I was up. Mm. But I get there, and he calls a water break, and we're in the pyramid, and it leads me to that seven to nine o'clock thing. <laughs> so he calls me. Uh, I'm going over to get a drink, and he can see my face. My face is like, what the fuck going on? Killer over there at the table, the scores table. He got a large pizza and a two-liter Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. At the scores table? <laughs> for his uh-huh. break. For his break, but hold on. I'm hold a on. vet, dog. Yeah. But he says to me, he goes, 
And you know, he always uses Jack. He says, if that's the word he does, Jack, we'll be just fine. <laughs> He goes, he goes, because he goes, he don't let that back seven o'clock. That's why, that's why I thought about the story. Right. He did Hubie was the best at that. Didn't care the what happened. Absolute best. Like, don't, if it, if it doesn't affect your family and doesn't mm -hmm. affect seven o'clock. No, nah, Hubie, Hubie, Hubie genuinely cared about our light bill. Yes. Right? And our water bill. Yes. Like, yes. nah, nah, we're not, don't, y'all got what after practice? Y'all got to sign all 10,000 basketballs? Nah, we're not doing that today. These guys got to go home and take care of their family. I Hubie was a real one. Hubie was it. awesome. I and I thought I was in trouble when they signed Hubie as my coach. I thought I was in trouble. Because he's bad talking Shit, me. Y'all were perfect together. I know, but on the draft, yeah. you talk yeah. me, you know, I got drafted all. Oh. Here comes this dude smoking left hand cigarettes. <laughs> Maybe him and Billy Don was hanging out prior to that. That's where the left hand cigarettes came from. <laughs> I ain't never heard that shit until Billy said that shit, man. Maybe Hubie, man. Hubie, Hubie was a real one, though. Mm. Hubie was a real one. The best. I love, I love, man. He's still doing it, too. I I'm still doing TV. Yeah, you can't hear out of one eye. Can't I mean? Can't hear out of one ear. Can't see out of one eye. But gotta you gotta be right here, but yeah, you talking to him. Nah, he definitely doing TV. Tell me some Memphis stories, killer. I miss those days. Well, y'all got some Memphis stories for me. Oh, you got great stories. Tell me about Memphis J. Will. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, first of all, oh, I like that. I no, first of all, he was so fun to play. Like because as a shooter, we had a good team though. Yes, we had we like were, ten we guys. Were, we were loaded. Yeah, we were loaded. And Hubie was a great coach for us, but we were loaded, man. That was, but the one time. Was it? It had to be. That was back. That was back when well, it was Fratello then, right? You played with Fratello. Mike Fratello. Yeah. Uh oh. He's the one that. He's the. He's the one. Uh oh. He's the one that kept subbing you to that. Man, Mike Fratello. Yeah, I don't dig Mike Fratello <laughs> too tough. I, 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 <laughs> hey, hold on. So you want I, Memphis I story? I can tell. I can you tell. Want, you want Memphis story? I got yeah, Memphis story for you. For some reason, Coach Fratello was was subbing Earl and Jay. Like, we always had five-man rotations. Besides Powell, Powell played a little longer than everybody else. Oh, so should he have. So should he have, yes. He should have but, played some point guard for me and Earl. <laughs> it should have took the M, M for me and Earl. But anyway. Mike. But anyway. <laughs> little Mike. <laughs> little Mike. He just called him Little Tello? Yeah. Hold on. So, so, <laughs> so he keeps sewing him in and up. Like, I'm not talking about, like, one, like, two minutes. I'm talking about, like, 30 seconds. And this isn't at the end of a game where you're doing offense, defense. It wasn't that. It was, like, third quarter. He well, said, he says, you got one more time, bub. <laughs> I ain't going back in that motherfucker deal. One more time. About 15 seconds later, Jay, get Earl. Get Earl. Jay got his towel over his head. That I ain't going in, bub. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't get it. What, 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 Earl had to be mad, too. Cause yeah, because he Earl, Earl was a silent. He's like Steve Blake. Would slit your throat and wouldn't even know it. Yeah. Earl was the same way. And I, I'm like, there's no way Earl's, Earl's digging this. There's no way. So what was, what was the point? I was trying to no, it was it offense, defense, or something? No, that's what I'm fuck? saying. It wasn't like the end of the quarter. It wasn't offense, defense. It was. It was just. It was just. It was just with him. Like, but Coach Fratello would do that from time to time. Now, yeah, he would take all five of us out once. Yeah, like that. Yeah, but then we go. We go in the locker room. Ooh. <laughs> go in the locker room. They will say ooh. Well, it's the same game. Bonzi punts the Gatorade bottle. Punts the Gatorade bottle. Thirteen rolls up. Hits something. Oh. <laughs> Definitely can't do that nowadays. So, no, so, that's a lawsuit. So now, so now yeah. we walk. In, now we walk in his locker room. You say that was about to be fun, and then he says, "Bonzi, you're fine. Such and such. Jay, you're fine. Such and such." What was your response, Jay? Man, <laughs> I ain't trying to. I ain't worried about that fine man. The Memphis fine, like Mike Fratello, bro. The Memphis, the, the organization when we played in Memphis, bro, wasn't one top-notch organization. I don't know how it is now. They got new ownership like that. I'm sure it's got to be better. Ain't got no choice. But back, back then, man, it was it was a B class. It was a B class organization from what I was used to, you know what yeah. I'm saying? From yeah. Sacramento. And yeah. now playing my whole career, it was it was B class for sure. Um, but that's neither here nor there. But yeah, them fines that they got me for that, man, that was no, nah, that, that's deeper than them fines for me. <laughs> if if it happened today, I'd I'd have been like I'd have been sued probably, dog, for what I'd, what what would have happened in that situation, though. Seriously. Like trouble. Trouble. But Memphis was cool, though. Memphis was Memphis cool. Memphis was cool. We were good. Fratello wasn't cool, though. He wasn't cool. He wasn't a guy. Yeah. He know, wasn't a I guy. I don't know much about him. Good. That's good. <laughs> Damn. That's good. So <laughs> we're going to skip over this for a second. So Sha Big Shaq says he, he orchestrated the trade that got you here in 06. I think he did. Talk about it. At that it. time, that was the biggest trade in, in, in the league. Yep. 13 I players. 13 still players. I remember when you came to the Heat. I was excited. Well, it was. He that came was to the crib like, you know what I'm saying, like – 
Ask me, do I want to play with Miami? I always want to play with Miami, you know, or Orlando. I always try to get to one of them, right? Um, but Miami, for sure. Uh, and he asked, did I pl want to play with him? And, uh, for sure. What do you got to do? You could tell Pat Riley to, uh, uh, he can cut my left nut off if he gets that deal done, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he came, you know, got Pat Riley on the phone. We chatted a little bit. And the next thing you know, the next day it happened. Did you and Pose come to that? Pose yeah, was in Pose, Memphis, Pose came with yeah. you, right? Twan, Twan too. Pose, my dog, Pose. Yeah. Yeah. So what's funny about that is when we won the joint in, in 06 in, in Dallas, oh, we on the floor, da, da, doing our thing. Miss Riley come up, put her arm around me, whisper in my ear, hey, don't think I ain't forgot about that left nut. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, <laughs> put it on out there and get the side. You only need one anyway. That's right. We only need one. Lance That's right. I'm proving that. Hey, it? listen, you remember after we won that championship? Of course I remember that. We get into that. Okay, let's go. Oh, we'll get into that a little bit later. We'll oh, get we're gonna wait. A okay. Bit later, boy. We we're had a good wait. old time. We had a good old time. Oh man, night. we stayed in that arena all damn near all night. Man, they. <laughs> that was a big time, man. That was. I ain't gonna lie to you. Obviously, D Wade was something else in that series. So was Antoine Walker. So was Antoine Walker. Everybody stepped up big. At, 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 at some at one game, at least one, some point in one game, everybody did something yeah. that, that needed to be done. I swear, like. I know that sounds cliche, but I swear to God, all 12 dudes yeah. did something at some point yeah. during that series. It's, it's like that, though, because we talk about even on ours, like when you have, obviously, you had D. Wade and Shaq, right? Like they're going to handle their business. Right. It's the rest of them, the games two, three, four, five. Like those guys are going to win one or two games by themselves. That's right. Our big three are going to win. It's us doing the little shit. Like y'all had the Antoine Walkers, the U's, UD. Uh, who's up? GP was there, right? Gary Payton. Shannon yeah. Anderson. Shannon, Shannon Anderson. Anderson. We ain't seen him since we won. Yeah, that I don't know. Disappeared in the thin air. Poof. He did. <laughs> we ain't seen him since. We ain't seen him since we. I'm sorry, literally since the clock hit zero and threw it up in there. He ain't come to the parade. Or nothing. Seriously. We ain't yeah. seen him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where he is. Shannon, boy, if you out there, boy, miss you, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We ain't seen that boy since the parade, dog. What was your mindset when we was down 02? What you were thinking? Man, I was just like, just, we got to get a win somehow, some way, some way, some way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I ain't, I ain't, I thought it was going to be tough. So I swear, I, it wasn't looking good. Game three when we was down in yeah, the fourth down, quarter. We were down in the fourth quarter by like eight Ten. with like six minutes to go or something like that. Yeah, it was and tough. Buddy I called that time out. That time, I think he called that time out in between them free throws. Josh, yeah. ha Josh Howard called that time out. Mm -hmm. That hurt him. Yeah. Uh, but they still had a shot at the end. To, to, I don't know if it was the tie or the winner at the end. And that's when that's when D Wade said, "I ain't going out like that." And yeah. the, the timeout. That then was flash. I came yeah. out. I got the steal. Uh, they tried to throw the elbow pass to Dirk. I got the steal. I got fouled. I made the two free throws. I was shooting free throws terribly that game. I made those two free throws and kind of went on a little run. I yeah. Remember, I remember that like it was yesterday. Man. After we won it, you remember they came to, to? I think I was in your room and you was in my room. You remember they came to pick up our uniforms? They knocked on the door. And then they, they, they skipped over our room, maybe something like that? We told them to skip over yeah, our room because yeah, we, we didn't want to open the door. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. We, we why, did, why didn't you guys want to like room? Like Cash Money well, Studios in there, yeah. that's why. <laughs> we had our luggage in front of the door already. We it couldn't get pulled open right then, you know we what I'm saying? We had that yeah. Cash yeah, Money yeah. Studios in that mother That's why they couldn't come in and get I bet we still had our tape on our feet, man. That's what, oh, really? I bet you. What? We still had our tape on our feet when we were in the room. Yeah, we got, we got straight to it, killer. Yeah. There's no better feeling than that, though. Oh, we got straight to it. I remember Riles got on the bus, and Buddy, buddy with, uh, that gave Zoe the kidney was on there with us. Yeah, yeah. And, and Riles the was the last one on there. He's usually the first. He got on there. We was wait. I, you know, I was waiting. I wanted to get back to the hotel. Everybody <laughs> drinking, doing their thing. I can't do my thing in the bus. Right? We can't wait. You know? We can't wait to get back to the room. Yeah. The Riles get on there. Anybody got any beer? I said, nah, but we might have something else you want back here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Riles was great. Riles was one of the best people to ever to work for in, 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 in that kind of oh, situation, yeah. bro. Oh. Yeah, he was, no, he was great that day. Oh, night. man. Remember the man said, I'm only taking one shirt, one, one suit, one tie? One tie. And we're going to be champions on, what was it, June 20th or July 20th, whatever June. it was. June 20th. Yeah. And that, we walked out there and we actually won it on that day. Yeah. I was like, this is a profit. Yeah, yes. We won it on, we won it on that day. He's we won it on that day. He, he is different. He called that shit out. We won it on that mother day. Yeah. Now, fast forward. You remember the last day? Practice. When everything went mother crazy. 
with, with, with Shaq and them? With Shaq and oh, man. you I think I everybody. started it all down. You damn you did start it. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, thank you for admitting that. I, 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 no, no, I mean, let me rewind. Thank you for admitting that. I, I didn't start it. I didn't start it. I was like, I was probably the first topic of the story. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so it wasn't happened? my fault though, was it? I ain't said what it was your fault, but you know what? What was that one? Oh, Riles was yelling at me for that something. He was like Oki Corral in that. Something, mate. I don't. Well, I don't remember what started it though. I'm. I'm thinking maybe one time he put me in the game or something, and, and I didn't shoot the ball or something. He was yelling at me or some. And he took me out, and then he put me back in, and I had a. I swear to God, I was like, the as soon as I stepped on the floor, the ball came to me, and I had a wide open shot. <laughs> and I was like, man, scoot, <laughs> boy. That went through Riles, man. Hey, I, I, I wouldn't do that again if I, if I had a chance. <laughs> er, I'm right back out at halftime. You know how he go back in his yeah, office? Yeah, yeah. We're sitting out in them chairs. Yeah. He's sitting back in his office. He come out with, what, about 10 on the clock, talk to us, and then we go back out, whatever. But about 2 on the clock, he ain't came out yet. I think this was what it was. It started, then the next day in practice. Yes, when it yes, went. yes. He came out with a paper brown paper bag, breathing in oh, Got right in crazy. my face. I remember that. You make me hyperventilate. I'm like, well, Bubs, <laughs> what? I'm not so sure what you want me to do. <laughs> like, wait. And then he went to kick, you know how the, the doors in the locker room got the little flip down yeah, on the carpet? Yeah, yeah. He went to kick the jump, tore his meniscus. Oh. Tish up. So we, now it's all J. Listen. Will's fault. Tish all all this is J. Boom. Will's fault, yeah. Kick that buff, we ain't see Rouse for two weeks. I oh. said, where Rouse? He had to have surgery. That's right, that's right, bro. <laughs> all cause of me, cause I didn't shoot the ball, though. But he should have, he, he did something to make me mad, though, Rouse. I don't know what it was, but I'm sure it was something. <laughs> so, so, so fast forward to practice the next day. But I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think this might have been a lead up. This okay. is like he has some pent up anger now yeah. at this point. Yeah. It was a lot of frustration because the problem with that was we had won the championship the year before. Yep. And they sent out memos for everybody to be in shape and to be back in the arena two weeks before training camp. Yep. Showed up the day before training camp. <laughs> Not two weeks before. It was, it was out of shape like. So we already started that season off behind the eight ball. Got like, murked by 51 ring night by the Bulls. Man, I, listen, we did not have championship habits. No. <laughs> we was, we was f***ed up. I was here because I lived in Miami, so two weeks ahead was easy for me. Yeah. But GP, Antoine Walker, Pose, all them dudes talking about coming back two weeks before to start getting in shape. Earl Barron. Big oh, Dookie. Remember yeah, Earl Big yeah, Dookie? Yeah. What up, boy? Yeah. He was uh, in, in uh, the scout, scouting team when we was playing the Mavs that year in 06 when yeah. we beat him. He was uh, Dirk on the uh, scout team. That ain't what we called him. Nah, we called him Dark. Dark New Whiskey. Dark New Whiskey. <laughs> Dark New Whiskey. Oh my Dark, God. Dark New oh, Whiskey. Dark. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, so then after that, the next day, so now the shit, fast forward, J. Will and, and Riles go through their little shit. And J. Will, I ain't never seen nobody file off on Riles. Da, 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 da. So they find off back and forth. And then Shaq and Riles get into it. That's when I just said, you know what, Shaq gonna kill this old motherfucker. Let me just try. Let me, hey big fella, you'll hurt this Man, Shaq pushed me out the way, man, like a little shouty, man. I just walked away and went to shoot free throws like with D-Wade. I said, man, I ain't getting into that shit, man. I ain't <laughs> with that shit. I ain't never had no man man handle me like that before in my life, man. I'm a grown ass man, man. You was not finna be, yo, I ain't gonna hit him. <laughs> but it tossed me out the way. I was like, yeah, I ain't with this. But That's right. that was a particular day that all this you know Thank what I think started that is, is I, I came in, I came in that day and there was a note on my locker that said Riles wants to see you in the office. Uh, and uh, uh, By the way, by the way, you for, know, you for get all y'all back at home, <laughs> that's a note you don't want. That's right. No. That's a scary, that, was, that man had that's like some of, some of you don't want it. Some that's, of us, some of us don't want it. That's like the note. That's <laughs> you know what I'm like, saying? That, some of us are built for it. Some of us ain't. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, uh, I don't want that's that. That's like the note on Major League when you ask get cut. Major League, the movie where they had that your locker and you go and you see that in your locker just get your going on home don't well, even worry listen, about it ron culp was the one who wrote the letter r.i.p ron that's culp. right uh -huh. one of the best best trainers ever it would tape your ankle so tight your knees are swelling that's right <laughs> that's right they would so he wrote the letter right on there bump i'm usually the first one to practice down there every day usually yeah. so i'm like man i knew that wasn't rouse right and so i'm like i'm not going up there you know what i'm saying if, if, if i'm a grown-ass man doc <laughs> if you want to talk to me he comes hey you know Come see me, and I gladly go up there. So I ain't gonna. No, no, I'm up there, up there shooting. And Riles don't ever come out on the practice court till like five, ten minutes before the start. He out there fifty minutes before, man. He ready, walking for, he around ready the, for war. Walking around the circle like he like ready he ready for ready, war. Oh, you ready? And I already know, man. I'm like, oh man, 
And they go, damn, I, <laughs> I wish I wouldn't have done it now. Like, damn, why can't I, this would have been over with, but here we go, man. <laughs> so um, we bring it in, blah, he brought us in. You, point, he pointed right at you, you can leave. Shaq was like, nah. And I was like. That's when it started. That's when it started. Shaq said, don't go no well. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm me. I'm like, who am I? Like, I got to go. That's Pat Riley. I got to go. He told me to go. I'm finna get my ass up out of here. Yeah. So I'm walking muslin on over there. It's a, it's, you know, that big old, big old square thing of bubble gum yeah, on wheels. Yeah, but yeah. I'm like, I'm so mad. I'm going to pick this bell. I'm going to sling it right at everybody over there. But I'm going to pick that bitch up. That bitch weighs 10 million pounds, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. So I'm now I'm like, now I'm kind of embarrassed. Like, what am I? So I just push <laughs> it over. <laughs> gum, gum go flying everywhere. It's like everywhere. So now I'm just down in the shower. I'm in the shower, right? Not doing my thing. And all here is like a herd of elephants like coming down the stairs. Like, are they coming to whoop my ass or what now? They're like, they're going, shout, no, get your clothes on. You ain't leaving long. You ain't leaving long. And they done went through all this. He done talking about, he done slung UD up out of the way. Excuse me, sir, get up out of here. Zo, Big Zo, like, no, yeah, it's Big Zo, get on up. Next thing you know, Big Zo and, and, and GP down there playing horse with Buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah listen, ain't nobody want nothing big no, fella. No, sir. Ain't nobody tell you want nothing big you know fella when you got mad. Big, you know who wants something big fella? Rouse. Yeah, Rouse like, was, was, was with the smoke. Yeah, what you want to do? was with the smoke. Yes, sir. Rouse told oh. that Rouse slapped Shane, get your fucking finger out of my mouth. That's mother. right. That's right. That's right. Kill him. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so kill, kill him. him. He finna kill him. But I goddamn it, Pat Riley would have died that day fighting. He was with it. God. What? And God. that's that day when I realized I had the most. I already yeah. had respect for Riles, but that day I was like, okay, all of it. He with all. He with yes, it. Yes, sir. I ride for Riles, bro. I ride for Riles. Yeah, man. What a what a day. That reminds what a me. Day. That reminds me. Not to flip back. That reminds me of the Memphis story with Bozzy Wells. That reminds me when he the playoff game when he walked in and late. Flipped. Yeah. Poor Bonds, man. That's my guy, dog. He is the best. He's the greatest. We had an awesome team, by the way. We did. We had a lot of talent. What was that, game four? Was it when, it, when he came in there? Yeah. Man, I don't remember that far back, dog. What happened? To Bonds? Yeah. That was, uh, wasn't the time when he came out uh, and, and Vertello always was standing up there on the, on the court and anyone sat in his seat. Boy, Bonds came out, sat down in his seat. And Fratello seat? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, he just felt like trying him. Yes, sir. About eight minutes to go in the quarter, Fratello didn't even come back down there. Not now I'm time the rest of the half. Yeah, he just stayed felt like way trying. down there. Timeouts and all. Just stayed down there talking to the rest. Yeah, he just felt like trying him. So then he come back out in the second half. Bonzi didn't play. Bonzi figured out he wasn't going to go in. So we're sitting there. Fratello didn't call the timeout. This is the playoffs, by the way. Fratello didn't call the timeout. He's sitting there at the chair, bomb, like this. Timeout. Bonzi. Watch this. Took a headband off. <laughs> Ski. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. But look, after the game, come in there, guess what? It's all about Jay Will's fault, goddammit. it. Jay Will this, Jay Will that. I said, I didn't throw no headband at you, dog. <laughs> like, what are you doing? You mad at me? Like, I, what? just because I'm small too? Just because you small, you want to pick on somebody small? Get out of here, dog, you know? So, yeah, Fratello, Fratello wasn't a guy, man. He wasn't a guy. He wasn't, he wasn't a guy that can control, like, 12 grown men. Yeah. Yeah. I think he'd be a great middle school coach, bro. Swear. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, really. Like, nah, his X's and O's. I think a lot of people take that for granted. I mean, you could draw it up on a pen and a paper. You could be great with X's and O's. Yeah. But if you can't manage personalities and if you can't manage the locker room. That's right. And if you don't got the respect of your players. Right. You that's right. You like, can like, forget about yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, like I said earlier. I never coached a game in my life, but I think, I'd like to think that I know a little bit about basketball, like how you can get done and how you can't whatever works and what don't work but I, I might I might not be able to coach just because I might not be able to do that and, and I damn sure can't angle be able to draw up a play in, in, in during a timeout with two seconds left I'm down one that's some hard yeah but you know let, what I'm saying but let's make no mistake about it bro at the end of the day man it's a player's league because oh, sure. there's no way that Adrian Griffin gets fired the I way agree. he got fired with what he was doing it I understand everybody wasn't under, wasn't wasn't down with what, whatever but at the end of the day bro they still had the second or third best record in the east they just had a terrible defense, but you still wasn't even halfway through the season. So for him to go through what he had to go through and to get fired, it's a player's thing. That had to be a player's thing. Giannis can say what he want. If your head, if your play, if your best player ain't with this and he ain't co-signing you, your ass up out of there. That's right. Yeah. So you can get you could get on here and tell us you I had nothing to do. You had all to do with it. Oh, yeah, everything to do with it. For because sure, at the end of the day, sure they ran it by him. They had to, bro. I don't and then even the why mother, they the with the, the shucking coaches. and jiving before the next game when he That's was out. That's right. And all of them were. All of them <laughs> Come were. on, man. What are we doing here, man? They was happy. What are we doing, man? They was happy. What were they doing? 
Ski. 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 I was like, come on, man. The man just got fired, dog. And at the end of the day, man, like I said, they co-signed him to get the job. You know what I'm saying? Beforehand, everybody co-signed him. Everybody wanted him there. And then gave the man a couple months and got his ass up out of there. But what? That decision is not made unless your locker room says so. No doubt. That decision is not made unless your locker room say so. What was dirty about that, I thought, was they hired Doc Rivers as an advisor back back in mid-season or, or, or the Looking beginning of the season. Looking over his shoulder. Yeah, what, what's that tell you? I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah Doc yeah. was an advisor the whole time. Yeah. And then got the job when he got now up out of there. He's an all-star coach. Yeah. And listen, and, I, and, and listen, much respect and much love for Doc, but it's about his last shot. Oh, man. Oh, it is it's about his last shot. He's a good coach. It's about him. his last shot. No, I ain't saying he's not yeah. a good coach, but this is about his last shot. And what they don't understand is I think you bring a coach in because I, from what I gathered, they had issues with the defensive philosophy that Adrian was running. So you bring a coach in and maybe you think that's a player's coach and you think you might have more dialogue with that coach, with that coach or whatever the situation may be. But at the end of the day, you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. In a seven-game series in the playoffs, somebody's going to put you in a situation that you might not like and you're going to be out of your comfort zone. So build habits of getting uncomfortable right now because it ain't going to be your way all the time. You're right about that. It ain't going to be your way all the time. And y'all only won one championship, so how the you know what the way is? <laughs> <laughs> you only won one. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, that I, I felt like they did the brother dirty, man. I ain't like it. So uh, speaking of Doc coaching an all-star, give me your guys' He uh, said he's going to give his check to Adrian. That's, though, right? I like that. I like but, that. But, Respect but for that. Y'all give me uh, your biggest uh, all-star snubs. I ain't going to give you no snub, but a, 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 to me, Ant-Man should be starting. He okay. got in, but to me, he should be starting. Okay. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know about the word snub, man. I think these dudes are so good, man. Yeah. That I, a snub makes them, make them, makes them sound like kind of like garbage time. I don't like that either. Yeah. Like when a guy's like in the game, late in the game, and, 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 the, and the game's kind of over, they say they ain't garbage time. Yeah. That's, them yeah. dudes ain't garbage. Bro. No, they, they, no them dudes, question. Them no. dudes is, is, is 400 of the best basketball no. players in the world, no. dog. Yes. Like, yes. they'll beat anybody you know. So that garbage, that's not garbage, bro. There's some guys out there trying to earn a check or, or, or maybe earn a living for next year no, type no. too. So the snub thing, I don't like that. So I think some guys that, that should have been on there that ain't on there, um, like who you take off? That's a hard, that's another that's question. question. Yeah. That's, that's another question. question because that's them dudes probably deserve it too. But Sabonis to me should for sure be an All Star, bro. Like, like the stuff that like, I want to say like thirty four straight double or thirty four double doubles this year. Yes. Out yes. of out of what forty games, fifty yes. games? Crazy. Come on, dog. Yes. That's yes. crazy, right? Yes. But who am I? I? I'm glad I don't have a vote. Speaking speaking of everyone out there could beat up on somebody else. You still go play pickup. Man, you know what? <laughs> have uh, you seen this? Nah, you, have you seen I, this? about that tearing people ass up? He up there and talk. <laughs> about that tearing people ass up. Have you seen him out he there? He said one, one video I saw. It was so freaking funny. Guy said travel. He said, "Man, <laughs> I ain't traveled since I was five years old." <laughs> yeah, like like these guys, these referees that get me though, dog. That's a lot of reasons I can't play is because these referees, dog. They they don't know the game. I I know the game better than you. Like you don't even know the rules. How you gonna call that, right? Yeah. Like like. Like for instance, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, we're up by 50 or whatever, and, and, and I'll start shooting on the other team's goal. First off, that should be somebody should fire off on my Hell ass, yeah. right? But they don't. This, this is what it is. <laughs> bomb, bomb. So now, buddy's buddy gonna start guarding me and not trying to let me shoot on their basket. So, so I'm like, <laughs> I quit. So I, I, I pump fake down, start walking and turn around, shoot it in and go. He fouled me. Ref, foul, blew the whistle. Goes in. So I'm looking at the ref, what you gonna do? What you think he should do? You shot it on the other basket. I shot the three on their basket. On their basket. Foul. And got fouled and, got and, got foul. Foul and yeah. made it. Yeah. Get them three points. That, that's right. That's what you should do. Get them the three points, but yeah. I'm shooting a foul shot yeah. on my basket. On your yeah. basket. Got to be. I'm, I'm looking at the ref. What you going to do? Uh, he said, he's looking. Talk to the other ref. Jay will come here. <laughs> Cut the. That's what he said. So I'm like, all right, cool. So then he starts cheating ferociously now, right? So it's like. The game's over. We're fitting to lose, I think. This, this is like next week or something. We're fitting to lose. Like, we're down four with like five seconds or something like that with the ball. We can't do nothing. But we got the ball. I'm bringing it in. I said, oh, boom. Just y'all do your thing. Cut. Act like you're trying to get open. <laughs> you're going to go fire Boom. Fast. Referee standing right there. Right oh, there. Hand me the ball, shit. right? Boom. We count one, two, three, four. He get about the five. He's going to blow the whistle, right? Die. Steal his whistle. <laughs> now. I stole his whistle. He can't blow it. I'm just holding the ball and the whistle. He's like, whoa. Well, he could. <laughs> hey, if he had a pistol, he'd have shot me right in the head. Oh, man. man. He was so mad at me. Man, listen, man. That man making 250 hours. He ain't know. He ain't show up for that. <laughs> he, he 
you make a two fifty hour. It ain't short to be harassed by you all, goddamn night, man. You done took the bad whistle. That's fantastic. Let me get the whistle. I learned a lot though from Tim Hardaway though in these summer leagues down here though. He old man Tim Hardaway. Really? Yeah, he does. He do some crazy shit too in the men's league. What I would say is, I don't know. So it's the men's league down here. Back when I lived down here, it was. I used to play with Tim back in the day. He used to come to Miami High and play when we was in uh, high school. He used to come play pickup with us. And he used to bring little Timmy over there. Mm. So we got a chance to play with little Timmy when he was middle school, going into high school before he even got into college and went to Michigan. So I was playing with Tim way back in the day when I was a teenager. Like he always showed love and came a hoop. Like oh he, yeah, he was a hooper. Oh man, he'll give a hoop anywhere. What? He got kicked out of one game in the, in the, in the men's league. Man. Like early in the game, <laughs> went over there, untied his shoes real slow, put his other sneakers on, walk, walk. He had to walk by the scores table to the door. Yeah. Walk by there, reach over the scores table, unplug the scores clock, wrap that up, put up under his arm, walked on up out <laughs> of the door with this clock. <laughs> Took the clock. Yeah, I can't play none of y'all playing this week. I'll see y'all <laughs> they, next week. They say you should take the basketball. That's you take the clock. crazy. <laughs> I was hey yeah hey I was speaking of all these pickup games. I was on a flight two weeks ago. And right when I sit down, it's Stan Van Gundy. Oh, man. So we started talking about y'all. <clears throat> One of the stories he told me about him, though, he goes, <laughs> he goes, he goes, during the middle of the season, he was, <laughs> he was playing pickup. He got in he trouble play- for that. Yeah. <laughs> got the, Otis Smith. You remember Otis Smith? Yeah. GM? During yeah. the season. Like, hey, man, I got to go. I got I got a game. I got a game. <laughs> 30 well, I, wasn't in the, I wasn't getting no minutes, but they are going to go play these young kids. So I'm like, well, look, practice is over always at like 4.30. Men's game starting at seven. I'm there every Thursday. Otis, Otis called my agent like, "Hey, Jason can't be playing in the men's league." Guess what my agent say? Hey, you got to get his run somewhere. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, we playing pickup. At least, yeah. least he ain't sitting on his ass. No, he's still getting his work. Yeah. I mean, what can you say? Nothing. What can you say? I don't even remember who they was playing. I don't remember. This was in Orlando. Yeah. No, Stan. Coach, coach told me that. I was like, "Oh my God, so Jay will." Hey man, I gotta get up out of here, man. I got a, I got a game here in about thirty minutes. <laughs> Coach was like, "What?" Stan was great. He was one of the best coaches I ever played. He was for. Awesome. Nah, I X's Stan. and O's. Love. Whoa, that was his. Yeah, that was his. Nah, Stan was a real one too. That was yeah. his. He was another one. Just he just cared about them two hours he was at the at the gym. Mm-hmm. He didn't care what you did after mm-hmm. out the floor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shaq's getting his jersey retired in Orlando, huh? Yeah. When is that? You know, mm, it's coming up. Coming up, probably. You got season tickets, Jay Will, or you just pick the games you go to? Because I know that you always at the game when we go to Orlando. You got season tickets. I'm there to see y'all. <laughs> Strictly so you don't y'all. go to every game. You just go to now, now. Okay. okay. Nah. I thought you might have had season tickets. They got a good team though. Now they got a good team. Finally, I always, I always said that. They got a I always good team. said that. I think I think if they get like a like a like a true point guard, we were talking about earlier, like the guards they got now, there's yeah. some point guards, but they they trying to get buckets too. All of them similar. Like they ain't. They need a, I think they need a point Shooting. guard to, to yeah. take uh, uh, pressure off uh, Paolo. Franz and Paolo. Yep. Yeah. They got to do too much. Do like well. handling the ball and stuff like that. That, that yeah. gets them tired in the fourth quarter. To yeah. me, again, I ain't never coached a game, but that's just what I see, bro. Nah, they got, you know what I'm saying? They, nah. I said this last year. I thought they had a lot of nice pieces. And if they could put it together, that they would be a team that, you know, could make some noise. Uh, obviously, they're not going to win oh, it. Oh, yeah, you can make some noise. You can get somebody can, a, a they definitely cowbell can make some noise. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely could Make compete. Know it. Like realistically, though, like, at the beginning of every year, there's only three or four teams that, 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 that got a chance yes. to. Yes. And they know the, them, yes. them three or four teams know who they are to win a championship. Yes. Them yes. other teams, they know what time it is, bro, if, yes. if you're real with yourself. Yes. And let's be real. The Magic ain't thinking about a championship right now. No, hell no. They can't be hell if they're being no. real. Hell no. But they better than they were. Oh, so much better. Hey, hey, you got to So much better. You gotta, one thing I know about them for sure is defensively. Yeah. They got what it takes defensively. Now, yeah. offensively, they figure out they shoot and figure out they space. They, they need that lead guard, brother, to tell them bomb, bomb, bomb. Yeah, they defensively, they, they on their shit. They got a core to be really good, though. Yeah. They're going to be really good. And they well coached, too. Mm-hmm. They, they are. They well coached, too. You know what I'm saying? They well coached. Ant Man. I want to go back to Ant Man one more time. I got a good story about Ant Man. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, well, tell me that, but potential wise, because right now, he's probably one of my favorite players in the league. And I'm going to tell you why. You. It's because they took Minnesota from where they've been to obviously top of the West right now. And he, anytime you got a guy who can have the other 14 guys on his team embody his energy, his attitude, and his personality, then you got a real good leader right there. Now, I'm not taking nothing away from Mike Conley, because I'm sure he holding that shit together too over there, being a veteran and an OG. Yeah. But what I see from that team is they embody the personality of Ant-Man. They play with joy, they play with, they compete, and they, they, and they play, they having fun. They and are. they defending. And shout out to obviously 
Nas Reed, who I think is going to be big for them. He's big Nas for them good, now in the man. season, but I think he's going to be even bigger in the man. playoffs as teams start to go small and try to come back with Rudy Gobert out there. So I love what they're doing. And to me, the sky's the limit for Ant-Man, but what you think? I like Ant-Man too. I like everything you said was, was true. I see, I, see, I see a lot of T-Mac in Ant-Man. Mm. I, j- just from the, from, from the point as like, it's, it looks so easy to these dudes. Like, it's almost like the normal person is like, they're not even trying. Like, just think how good they could be if they really tried. Yeah. That's what I think a lot of people think about T-Mac. T-Mac didn't get enough credit. I mean, credit. he was, Man, so, good, was so easy. So easy. Like, oh. So I think, I think, I think maybe Ant-Man's like a little more like twitchy, more like bouncy, even yeah. though T-Mac had bounce, but mm, more yeah. explosive. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think maybe than T-Mac, but I see a lot of similarities there. Do you see now, I think I think T Mac's better than Ant Man. Let's don't get it twisted. He's uh-huh. got a long way to go before he passes T Mac, uh-huh. but he's got a, a real good chance to. Yeah, Ant Man. You, you see any D Wade in Ant Man? Um, because I know he played for Cream at Georgia. D Wade played for Cream at uh at uh Marquette. Right. So I don't know. I know him and D Wade had a, I don't, really, I don't, a close I think, relationship. I think Ant Man has been been so good his whole life that he's just been able to get away with who he is. He ain't really had to say all. Oh, where I'm sure, like now, he's been in the league a couple of years. He's got to be like, oh man, I got to work on this turnaround, or mm-hmm. or I got to work on my two dribbles left pull up. Where he ain't never had to do that his whole career. Yeah. He he could do whatever he wanted to do. So so whereas I think D Wade, every summer was in that joint working every year, you know, man. getting better, bro. So man. he never was as 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 talented and as gifted as Ant Man was from the beginning. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. I think a lot of people don't understand because I'm happy you said that. Like D Wade was talented, but we all know people that are God given talent and things come naturally and things come easy to them. Yeah. And then we got those guys that's in the gym working on their oh, craft man. consistently. D Wade wasn't a guy where God just gave him everything. Bro. D Wade was a guy that worked his ass off on his game. And I'm happy that you brought that up because oh. he ain't have like, yeah, he was. Blessed to have long arms, but D Wade about six two and a half, maybe yeah. six three. <laughs> maybe. No, you laughing? Maybe he about six two and a half, maybe six three. So yeah. he wasn't blessed to have all these God given things. The boy worked. Yeah, and you I, saw it. I, I seen him and Spo, man. Him and Spo used to do some. Shit Talk like, about it. Like yes, like just stand at the foul line and D Wade take one dribble to the left and Spo just push this that light on D Wade. I'm like, they would do that thousands of times a day. But like, what are y'all doing to my? I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> now nah, I know. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to throw bubble gum. <laughs> so tell us, you say you have a good Ant Man story. Tell us it. So I was coaching a uh, a uh, high school uh, cele- uh, high school all star game in Atlanta when he was still in high school his senior year, and I don't know none of these kids, man. These young kids, I don't know. I'm just coaching, like just just to be there. Really. I know what time it is with me now. Just show up. That's all we want you to do. So I'm there coaching, and Ant's on my team. Jump ball. Ant's on the bench. I don't know who Ant is, but jump ball. As soon as the other team get the possession, I swear anybody didn't take two dribbles, I get a tap on my shoulder. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's the director of the whole whole turn. Uh-huh. The Wayne number two in the game. I'm like, I don't know. Is he supposed to be? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's the number one player in the country. But time out. <laughs> time out. Hey, Ant, go in. Who you want me to get, coach? Whoever you want, bro. <laughs> go on in. He ain't come out the rest of the game. <laughs> you figured out how to coach, didn't Yes, you? sir. But- Hey, nice like Hebrew like Brown that, huh? said, "X and O's, give me Jimmy's That's and right. That's right. You're the number one player in the country. Time out. Get on in there. That's Ain't right. no rules for playmakers, dog. Yeah. Ain't no rules for playmakers. No. Not at all. Especially Not at in, all. A, in an All Star game. <laughs> like that kind of vibe. Nah. Come on, man. Get on in there. Hey, hey. Do we have a grab bag of questions for Jay? I got one more question. Okay, go ahead. This well, one well, question. Because well, you played ahead. obviously in the arrow. Obviously, what you think about the what 65 games? What you think about that? The rule? Joel Embiid stuff. Well, just we're gonna get into the Embiid. I want to talk about that too. But what you think about just the rule I mean, in general? Got to play that many games to win win awards. Yeah. yeah. What you think? I don't dig it. And then, and also play a certain amount of games to get in our MVP All Star as well. Yeah, right? I, don't, I, don't, I don't dig that because I mean, what if what if you know Embiid played? What's the number? 65. You got to play 65. So what if he played 64? And he don't get the All Star because of that, or Jokic, or, or these dudes. Come on, that's First not team, right. First team, second team, third and, team. And some, sometimes the injuries injuries do happen. Yes, I but agree. But I also get I also get the fan side of it too. You know, they're paying this bread to come watch these dudes play, and they don't play. But at the same time, that's that's on them, bro. Like you buy a lottery ticket, scratch that off, and it's a nam 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 winner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But and and these owners are paying y'all or these dudes thirty million, forty million. 
They ain't trying to win a game in November. That don't mean nothing to them. Yeah. That don't mean nothing to them. And they, 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 they not, they not negotiating this contract, thinking about Becky and Billy over there that's coming to the game on Thursday. They don't care about them. Yeah. I mean, they, they do in, 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 a, in a sense care about the fans. Don't yeah. get that twisted. The NBA does care about the fans, but, but realistically, they're trying to win a championship, man. And, and, and if if you and, and if you don't if if you're hurt and, and they think you setting out tonight is gonna help me win in June, that's what we're gonna do. And then there's another twist to it. You got a guy like you know some other guys that the teams don't even want you around. Maybe you don't want to be around either. But we're gonna tell you to stay home. But we're yeah. gonna still pay you. Yeah. So it's 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 a double edged sword there. This just depends on what side of the fence you're on, bro. I mean, my take on it is if you hurt, then do what you need to do to, to get yourself healthy. But if you just sit not being lazy, then that's where it comes into play because at the end of the day, the league has to do something. Right. Something had to be done. Right. I done watch it over and over again. Yeah. My go through shoot around and then come in at night and don't suit up. But you just went through the whole shoot around expecting this guy to play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like as a coach, up your whole game plan. You had a one game plan and then now you got to go to something different, but you didn't know he wasn't going to play till 45 on the clock. Yeah, but how many times does that happen from, come from upstairs? Hey, bro, he can't play tonight. And now the coach is binded, you know, tied up. Mm -hmm. Like, I think, I think most good organizations will have all their ducks in a row. And they already talked about that before the shoot around. They know, they know Buddy ain't playing. I think that's the way it should be, but. It ain't but, like that all the time, Jay Will. Yeah. These motherfuckers show up right before tip off and be like, eh. See, I, 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 I was never in that situation, but I, I, first off, I was trying to play in every game. That's what I'm saying. I wanted to that's, See, that's that what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Second that's of all, the point. That's second the point. of all, I wasn't good enough to come in there and say, hey, bro, I, I, I'm, nah, I'm going to sit down, bro. You're looking at me like, what? <laughs> and third off, if I did, if I did get by you and you did let me sit down, these other 14 dudes that I'm playing with, they gonna have something to say to me. No I didn't even want to face that. No exactly. You felt the accountability I, I, Even when I was hurt, I still faced some of that. You know, just, you know, yeah. you ain't hurt, blah, blah, blah. Are you scared or whatever? What? Yeah. I, I, I didn't even like that. So there was, there was so many times that I would play through an injury just so I wouldn't have to face my teammates, bro. Oh, yeah. You know how it is. You're playing against uh, Gary Payton that night. Oh, AJ yeah. Will, boy, you got exactly. that Paytonitis. You yeah. Got that pay, I, you got that GPitis. That's right. Like you got with, that GPitis tonight, boy? I played with a lot of guys that had Shaq Itis. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. <laughs> saying, I don't blame them. I don't, I don't blame, either. I wanted some itis, too, but I was just thinking, like, look. Y'all know you gonna give me probably 25, 30, but you gotta deal with me tonight. <laughs> For sure. I mean, you gonna, sure. have, you gonna be tired after tonight. Man, I think guys like Embiid who actually has an injury and certain guys, I think it works, you know, um, negatively against them. So I, I feel for a guy like Embiid who definitely deserves to be in the conversation for those things. But unfortunately, man, it up. I mean, I was, they even took that from, you know, low management to, yeah. Vacation, mid-season. I agree. You know what I'm saying? My done fucked it up. So what happens when you start taking advantage of shit, then obviously you know how it goes. Then but, the rule, you, you got to over set an example. Now you got to be, you got to overstate whatever you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, whatever points you're trying to prove. You got to overstate it now. So maybe it shouldn't be 65 games. I don't know what it should be, but it definitely got to be a happy medium. That got to stop. Right, but now, now, now you're going to get in a situation of say, say all these dudes missed the, the threshold for the games. and. And like I said, all everybody in the NBA is good. But no, what if Steven Adams plays all 82 games and he's the MVP? <laughs> because all these other dudes couldn't get it done. Steven Adams is a great player. I'll pick him on my team every day of the week. But he's not the MVP of the NBA. You know what I'm saying? So what, what, what happens when that happens? When somebody wins it that you know good and goddamn well that he ain't the best basketball player in the NBA? I mean, I would hope that somebody play 80, 65 games. Well, you got think about that, though. He's right, though. I mean, not, I mean, not that level, but, like, Joker doesn't play. Joker don't play 65. This Joker, year. Luka, Embiid. Embiid. Luka. The Greek freak. Yeah. I mean, for me, I tell people all the time, and I made this comment on NBA TV when I talked about Embiid. Nobody gives a about no MVP if you win a championship. That's exactly right. So, that MVP and trophy. you know what? The guy Go the win guy a championship. That MVP trophy, Joker. Go win a championship. That MVP, whoever, who was your oh, name? Uh, Luca. That MVP, Luca. Try to go win the championship. <laughs> yeah, if you ask me, my personal, if I was ever in a decision or a chance to win an MVP, yeah. never was, but if I was, I would much rather have a championship than an MVP. For sure. I mean, at the end of the well, day, I guess bro, I'm in the same like, conversation you are. I mean, but nobody, I would, yes, yeah, because if you win MVP and, and you 
the bed in the finals, people are just going to talk about how you laid down in the finals. But if you don't get the MVP and you happen to miss the MVP just because of injuries, but you take your team to a championship and win a championship, nobody remembers missing the MVP. Nobody remembers that you didn't meet the quota to make the All-Star. Right. Nobody remembers that. That's right. Just like nobody remembers I threw the off the 13th row 75 times against <laughs> Golden State in, 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 in 2003. I got a championship. Exactly. <laughs> I got exactly. a championship. I'll throw that shit off the 13th row <laughs> 75 more times. I got a championship. Man. You know what I mean? There's so many people that would, that would, you ask a lot of people, bro, John Stockton, yeah. ask him, well, you think he really oh. had more steals or a championship? Oh. Oh. More sure. assists or a championship? No That's a great point. You know what I'm saying? I'd love to have a little uh, assist record. Great point. Love to. Yeah. But give me that championship. I'd rather have a championship than, than, and not have not nam one minute in the NBA. But I got a championship. <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying? Right that's what that. we, that's what you play for. It's, 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 it ain't it's, like that today. No, not what I see. I They're agree. not playing for that. I agree. I agree. They don't want to win a championship. I agree they don't. a thousand percent. I think they want to go work out with Chris Brickley in the summer. I, Chris Brickley, shout out to that's my guy. Be, probably one of the best trainers doing it. Yeah. But that's what they they they. Uh, to me, it looks like them young kids. Is, that's what they they rather do that nowadays than grind and win a championship and come run these run these wall touches here at Miami Arena. Baby. Exactly. Come on down here and do that in exactly. the summer. Exactly. And that's a thousand percent. That's, that's a thousand percent what the difference is because I think a lot of times people might look at obviously you know my career. You know what I'm saying? They say okay, he went up in the Raptors. You know what I'm saying for playing for the Miami Heat. Congrats. But what you don't understand is everybody got a role to play exactly everybody has a role to play and if you don't figure out what your role is and how you can help a team win then you most likely gonna be out of there and out of the league we all just one injury one trade and one coach away from being a role player or starting out this league You're right it can happen just that fast so if you don't figure out how to impact the team and be a role player because it's only a few of us that's gonna have the role we want i've never had the role i wanted in the nba have you no have you no i thought i did okay I did. exactly I didn't. it's very few people that are gonna have the role that they want. The rest of us gonna have to figure out and get in where the we fit in and see how you help a team win. That's right. So when people say like, okay, as Jersey go up in the Raptors, he only averaged this, he only averaged that. So what if I'd average 30 and my Jersey don't go up in the Raptors and I don't win nothing? Is that better for you at home? Right. <laughs> Would that be better for you at home? Would that solidify? Sound personal, right? I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. There's uh, how many people? How many people in the, that played in the NBA that averaged 25 or average 20 for their career that their jerseys ain't up there? And they ain't got no. Rings. Well, I bet it's a lot. lot and they ain't got no rings. They ain't so, got nothing. So for you kids at home, <laughs> just understand, if you think you're going to get on the NBA team just because you can average 25 or you think you're going to average 25, you're sadly mistaken. All right. You good. better figure out how to get in where that, you fit in that, and how to help an organization win, how to add value. Because when you walk in that gym and it's 15, just know all 15 of them got buckets back in the day at some point. <laughs> yeah. All 15 got buckets. And now two get two. Maybe. And not, exactly. Maybe and now two, two get two. And yeah. the rest of you got to figure it out and guess what they give out a lot of money for setting screens and oh, yeah. rebounding oh yeah and, and blocking shots man you can get a hundred million dollars for just rebounding and catching lobs and guess what else they get money out of? hey <laughs> hey good job bro <laughs> they pay for that too if you can be a locker room guy yeah because that's leadership is, yeah. is what, undervalued what are you now. doing yeah what are you doing let's go bro yeah <laughs> listen leadership is undervalued right now yes, they need more vets that ain't cool though taking charges no that question. ain't cool yeah. that ain't on tiktok no, nah, it ain't. It ain't. Yeah, guess what? Getting dunked on that is on TikTok. Yeah, man, swear up and down, mm -hmm. get dunked Speak on that shit on TikTok. Yeah. Hey, speaking of TikTok, oh man, uh, I know. he'll be a TikTok legend. Legend, nowadays. and we're gonna it's we're going to the grab bag fan questions, basketball clips and stats. Ask this question: When did you first pull off the elbow pass? Because that was on TikTok. That's on TikTok. Where did, where did that come from? Because did you, that wasn't the first time you threw it. No, no, I, I, I probably, man, listen, I probably did that pass. In my life, I've tried it at least 30,000 times. Damn. Just, just in my time. And been successful, probably three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Seriously. Like, I'm talking about them 30,000 is a lot of practices. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but three times been successful. So I think when that happened, it's, it's not easy to do. It was kind of a mistake when I learned it. I was just trying to do, you know, they call it the Rondo. Yeah. But mm -hmm. how old is Rondo? Way younger but than I would have been 75. About my age, I'm 43. Yeah, Rondo got to be pushing 40. I was, doing, I was doing the Rondo back in 91 at DuPont High. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I, I was DuPont doing the Rondo High. one day in practice, and, and I, I kind of lost the ball, and it kind of like hit this arm and went backwards. Didn't go back that way. So I was like, what the I mean, so I cut the bit and bomb. That's how it came about. So uh, then I was trying to, you know, then I had to get my step together because people think it's a travel. Because you got to cuff it, put it back there, bomb. Now the rest is history. But 
Rafe LaFrance. Shout out to Rafe. He got fouled. Raglass Posey fouled him in the All-Star game. What you doing, Pose? I'm high-ass sock. <laughs> My dog, Pose. Pose. That's good, though, for those people at home. Think about that. 30,000 times to do it three times in a game. Maybe. I might be lying. It might be two. I'm saying three just to make myself feel good. <laughs> you know, but I'm saying, like, people don't understand. Because, uh, again, I'm going all over the place. But it's the same thing when I watch Kyrie. Like, they don't understand the time that gets in this stuff. Or, the, or stuff. like, when I watch Kyrie finish package, like, Ooh. he worked on that. Every Ooh. single day, over and over and over and over again. Right. Same thing you said. You did it 30,000 times. You used it two or three times in the game. Yeah. Kyrie got that thing on the string. Buddy. Best ever. Okay. That's, best this ever? is not a grab question. This is my that's, question. That's a hell of a question. Best, best he, he can, yeah. five hand, point guard, like handling, like just handling. Kyrie the Irving's the best ever to me. Kyrie. I agree. Love I, don't, it. I love it. I agree with Jamal that. Jamal Crawford is on Ooh. there. Yeah. Um, Chris Paul. Now, it's Chris Paul's is different because Chris Paul's not like going to yin, yin, yang, yang, yeah. get over there. But yeah. he can do all this stuff right here and have you going ski, ski, ski. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he's standing right there, so he's got to be on there on my list. Um, uh, Skipper, uh, Ray for Austin is on my Skip list. Skip to my Lou. Yeah. People have, you know, always compare, like, well, how, how'd you, you know, all this and one that you do that in the NBA and he didn't. Re- I don't think he really got a fair shot at it. You know no, what I'm saying? No, no. Skip, I'm, and I'm gonna tell you, and I hate to cut you off. Don't cut, you don't be hating nothing. I, I, I remember, I remember it like it was yesterday, dog. <laughs> Skip was playing with us, and, and this is something that I struggle with as an NBA player. But this is what you got to understand about this: it ain't gonna be our way. We are role players. Nine times out of ten, we got to get in where the we fit in. How many guys get to shoot all the balls? Two. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> Skip came to the. I don't know what happened. I don't know. He got into something with the coach, and he came to the bench, and he was sitting right by me. And Skip said, "I'm tired of." This. Yep. He said, I'm tired of the guys that do all the right that is that hold themselves accountable, that come to practice, that work hard getting in this league. I say, don't worry about it, Skip. You'll be all right. You're just, you just frustrated right now. I ain't never seen Skip no more. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, he didn't come to practice. Bro, he, he ain't come to practice no more. He just left the team. Like, he's like he, made, he stood on business. He said, I'm tired of this. Yeah. I'm tired of the guys that work hard and bust their ass and do all the right don't get the right, yeah. don't get the play, and don't get the right opportunities. He said that to me on the bench. You know how many times people say that and be frustrated? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm thinking he just venting. Yeah. Skip, don't worry about that shit. You just mad right now. We good. Skip ain't come to practice the next day, wow. or the next day, or the next day, or the next day. Skip wow. said that shit. When he said he was tired, he was tired. He stood on business. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. I don't think he got a fair shot, man. Like, nah, like he, me he in did. Sacramento, the, here you go. That shit take thing. a lot out you, bro. Yeah. When you fighting for your life with all these different teams and you know you putting in the work and you watching them continuously bring other guys in and you know he probably changed his game to to to, to get to where he was at because he probably didn't come in with yeah. all that you know what i mean yeah that shit you did in sacramento was nuts so. though the I stuff played, you did in sacramento was oh that was my favorite jay will you said i got the jersey no this was so dope i got Bro. the jersey now i love it's, heat jay will because i run a wing with heat jay will but it's because sacramento my, jay will was a it's because my teammates dog Tell he you. had some other teammates. no you did i, I agree with Teammates but, now, but to throw off some of the passes you threw, dog. But look, I, pra- I practice all that, bro. I pra- everything you've seen me do, bro. I practice that over and over and over, man. Like I've thrown so many full court one hand bounce passes, probably ten, twenty thousand, and I just run down with one and go down there and get it and do it back the other way. You play a little. You, you play don't ever play a little QB at Dupont High. Yeah, play a little QB. But uh, you ask Moss, I'm the best quarterback he ever played with, dog. Ooh. Ask Better than Cole hey, Pepper and all. Hey, better than Tom Brady. Better than TB12. <laughs> my, my intelligence probably wasn't up there with TBs, but my can my, my I had a gun. No. Hey, you know when we said that stuff about there's something in the water in, in Bell, West Virginia? Because he's the same way Moss was. No matter what he did, he was good at. Oh, you was one of those two. I feel, I feel, I feel no, confident. You was one of those two, Jay Will? Oh, yeah. I feel confident no, no. about beating, beating anybody at anything except soccer. Card tricks. I can't because I can't use my hands in soccer. <laughs> Anything else, I, I got a chance. I might not beat you, but. Throw a baseball, throw a football. I mean, I'm, I'm slightly one of those guys, too, now. <laughs> I'm good at a lot of shit. Well, I, I think it's safe to say that if you played in the NBA, you probably might be one of them dudes. Uh, except for golf. Well, that's different. I can't swing no more golf. Hey, we saw well, that let earlier. Me see, let me see it. Ski. <laughs> that's, just, that's a good putt. That's a good putt and stroke. That's all you need. Go nah, putt, putt. it's just a long way before you get Man, to the listen putt. Listen here, kid. Let me tell you something. My game is I'm good off the tee and I'm good putting. My in between, that seven iron and all that, you yeah. can kiss. You can kiss. Nah, <laughs> that. I can't do nothing with that. Well, and then you got the people behind you. They, they rude as 
hey man, take your ass around. I paid the money just like you. And be rushing me. If I want to drop my mother ball and hit it five times, I'm gonna drop it because I keep hitting the motherfucker over here. Now, I'm trying to hit it over up, here. Now hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We can't do that. Why? It's it's etiquette out there. I paid my money, Jay. I feel you. I feel you. What do you worry about etiquette? Right, well, check this out. What do you worry about etiquette when you out there with Bill I... Ferran smoking left hand cigarettes? <laughs> That's right. He out there with the street conditioning coach for the heat. He out there with the street conditioning coach for the heat. The street conditioning coach said, yeah, I played uh, golf with Jay Will yesterday. I said, how was that? He said, oh, he smoked the whole time, and I just kept looking the other way like I didn't see him. <laughs> well, yeah. He got Bill Ferran out here. <laughs> hey, Wild Bill. Shout out Look, Wild Bill. That's right. You got you to have etiquette out there. You, you, so I can't drop my ball yeah, you, you, hitting. you paid your money to get out there, right? All right, well, look, I paid money last night because I throw an apple at Paul George. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that, can I? You know what I'm saying? So what I'm supposed to do? Just just take the, the bad hit, Jay Will? Why they can't go around? Because it's going to be more people about the group in front of you. It's going to be another people up there. So how am I ever going to get good? Go to the driving, driving range. range. Get your golf simulator. Go grab AI and go to practice. That's what I need, a golf simulator. <laughs> yeah, go yeah. ahead. Go she ahead. Hey, hey, hey. Whoever just buy me one of those for my nah, birthday. Whoever's no. watching, give one of these no. golf simulator where's, where's, people where's to get you one. Plan? June 9th. You're right. Hey, you know what? We're looking for a golf simulator sponsor. Hit yeah, me up. Full swing golf. At UD40. Holler at me. Golf yeah. simulator sponsor. Yeah. For real, for real. Right, I want to play Pebble Beach at my own house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Golf simulator sponsor. Hit me up. Yeah. Full swing golf. Yeah. 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 We went to Florida to play basketball, and we married women from Florida. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Listen, if we sit here, we could be lying to y'all if we told y'all we went for the education. No. I ain't finna lie to y'all. No. I got in because of the education, but my plan was to major in basketball. You ain't get in because of the education. You crazy as hell. Kyle, I took the SAT and the ACT. I, I, took, I took that too. Seven and, I was driving, and I was driving all the way to Temple to take a <laughs> SAT uh, <laughs> tutor. Tutor. <laughs> That did yeah. no good, did it? How many Not times? at all. No, nah, me neither. I got in by the skin of my teeth. Man, what? How I, many times did you take it? I took, man, my poor dad paid, but what, it was like $32 to take the ACT each, rap, each rip, right? Yeah. After the fifth time, my dad was like, nah, that's it, doc. <laughs> I'm like, look, dad, I done answered C every time, all five times man. on every question. I think that's what they told you with the ACT. Like, if you don't know it, just pick C or some shit like that. Because the ACT, you, you had to pick something. Or was Look, it AC, SAT? One of them you could leave blank. And one of them you always had to pick an answer. The SAT? Do you know you smart mother? You probably had this problem. <laughs> oh, I did. I had that problem. SAT. Once I went in, that was a lot of reading, I think. I only did that. I, no, I'm not doing that again. Yeah. That's that was a lot of reading. But my goal, all five times on the ACT, no was to be, as soon as the teacher said start, you know, it was in different sections. Mm -hmm. My goal was to have my head down sleep first before anybody else got in. <laughs> Did you win? Every rip. Every rip. <laughs> that is crazy. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, we all figured it out at Florida. We, That's we, not we, right, though. That that kind of test, is you got to take that to get into school. I don't and now they, they give that like seven million to play ball. I don't ball. even think they take that shit no more. Do they not? How much they would have paid you back in the day in our money? Uh, you was before Johnny, Johnny Manziel and all that. Oh, man. They You'd have been bagged up. Yeah. We'd have been. But I'd be had cookies in games. We'd have cookies and true leave and all up. Yeah. I would have been in trouble with you, Jay Will. Oh, man. <laughs> we wouldn't have made it. One thing about it, two things for sure, he wouldn't have came. He would have been in the gym shoot. <laughs> he was a gym rat, too. I was just on the step at night at when it was dark. After I got my in. Yeah. What did Jay Will tell her? Uh, Jay Will, you supposed to uh, go to class or meet me here tomorrow at 7 a.m. to run? What would you say? Oh, that was an easy decision. I was like, <laughs> look, you got you to... Gotta, uh, you got to wake up at 6 o'clock and run for 30 minutes every day. If or go miss, to class. If you miss class, I'm like, hmm. Practice at 1 now, mind you, 1 o'clock. So I'm like, hmm. I wake up at 6, go run for 30 minutes. I'll get in good shape, better than everybody on the team, getting extra, right? And then I'm going to get a good breakfast. Then I'm going to go get a good nap. And then I'm going to get some shots up before practice because I'm going to be ready. And I'm going to stay after practice. And I'm going to go get high. <laughs> and then we're going to repeat it next day. So and I, I, ain't like, it, I ain't making it to class. No, I'm not. Well, for what? I'm not. Well, there's no need to go to class. That's overrated. Hey, man, listen. I tell everybody, like, I tried. When I first got there, I tried, bro. I literally tried. To, I got my, my pen and my pad and my books and shit and all my shit, man. And going to class and sitting in the front. And two months into that, shit, Billy called me in the office and said, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Me and Mike. And I told this story. And we looked around like, what the fuck are we doing? Billy said, if the season started today, I couldn't play neither one of you. Both of you is ineligible. I said, yeah, I got to start cheating. <laughs> there hey, ain't no way. I felt bad for yeah, I got to start cheating. Cause Cause I, I, didn't, I, just, I didn't have a syllabus. I didn't yeah. know what the hell was going on. Listen, <laughs> I had all that. Shit. I just wasn't smart enough at the time. I was just, I'm a very intelligent, but when it comes to that kind of shit, 
That just wasn't my thing. I'm the same as you. And, and, and it doesn't make any sense, bro. It doesn't make any sense. But what I did know is put good people around me that got degrees. <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure. But all, all you got to do now is just go talk to them teachers like once a week. Sit in the front row, bro. Don't be late. You know what I'm saying? My nephew played football in college. This month, all his classes online. Yeah. All of them. All his classes online. You should never fail nowadays with these iPhones and shit like that. That shit is crazy. Yeah. If I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't be in trouble for no school. Yeah. I promise. I promise. But shit, we illegal now. They ain't bothering these boys about no more. All these <laughs> smoke seven days a week and twice on Sunday. <laughs> Better than drinking. Way better, Way better than drinking. Ain't that right, killer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I will drink that well South Dakota lemonade. <laughs> she drink that shit like water. That well had me drunk off beer and tomato juice one night. I said, what the f is this? But keep them coming. <laughs> you remember that shit? You had me throwing up. <laughs> had me throwing up off beer and tomato juice, man. I was drinking that shit like water. This mother good. took me some to people, some. Some people just ain't built for life on the road, Jay. I ain't never been fishing. This Took me to some back alley country in Georgia. We fishing and drinking beer and tomato juice. And I'm out here living the life. I'm out here up drinking that. Go back to up. You like the fish? Yeah, I do now. I got you a like little dock at the crib. Got a fish out yeah. there. Yeah, fish? Just... Boy, I'd rather watch paint dry. Than fish. <laughs> it's competition, Jay. Will if they steal my bait, I'm mad. Now I want to get them. What? You stole my bait. <laughs> you stole my bait off my line. <laughs> I'm coming back. What you got as bait? Like a worm or like a dough ball? No, nah, like, man. I use, I use shine as live bait, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I got stock my pond, so it's kind of like cheap. Oh, okay. yeah. He cheating over there. He yeah, but if, but if you steal my bait, I'm going to go back. I want my See, back at the crib when we were growing up in West Virginia, we used to uh, jug fish. You know what that is? Hell no. We used to take a, uh, they used to catch carp, big old yep. carp. Bottom feeders. Yeah. Yep. Feeders. Like yep. catfish. Yep. Not nah, worse. Yeah, Damn, worse. they worse than catfish. Worse. Catfish worse. bottom feeders too. No, nah, it's worse. Yeah, way worse. But they used to catch them. I had to stop eating catfish. And we yeah. we would bring like uh you know, like an uh, empty gallon of milk, yep. empty gallon, a jug, uh -huh. and then we catch a big old carp, or they would, and they would cut the string like that far from its mouth, leave the hook in its mouth, mm -hmm. and 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 push the string down in the in the jug, and then put the cap back on the jug, and then let the fish go. And you could see where the fish was going because he couldn't pull the jug under the water. Oh, it's shit. illegal, bro. Back <laughs> in the state in West Virginia, but yeah, that's what they used to do it. But they used to they didn't tell me go. They wouldn't take me fishing because I'd be over there skipping rocks while they fishing. <laughs> that don't go hand in hand. I don't guess. Let's get a fish away, bro. Right? I ain't know that. Fish out, Jay Will. Yes, I don't uh, guess. <laughs> listen, it, fishing go good with smoking. No. Yes, it do, Jay Will. No, it don't. Trust me, dog. You out there in that hot ass sun? It ain't always. But you might be out there for 17 hours and not catch nine fish. It ain't nine always got to be hot. You can go at nighttime. Well, yeah, and then the mosquitoes going to ratchet your <laughs> yeah, ass that up. It depends on where you go, Jay Will. In Trust Florida? Me, it ain't all that bad. Trust man, me. look, man. I'd rather, like, I'd rather read a book than fish. You definitely don't want to read I no book. I swear to God. You definitely don't rather read a book than fish. Hey, for you one, ain't doing neither of them exactly. there. That's the case. Because I ain't touching that shiner. I ain't that slime ass shiner. And I ain't touching them up fish. It'll get on the hook. I mean, a peacock bass, they'll eat anybody. Thing. You ain't gotta have no shine. You could throw an empty hook in there and a peacock bass will bite that shit. I'm not throwing nothing in there <laughs> with a rock. Hey, how much how much you gonna have to say you'd rather read a book? Man, if you don't get your ass out of here. No, so like, you ain't doing neither is what you're saying. Uh, there ain't no chance I'm gonna fish in, dog. <laughs> ain't no chance I'm reading a book. <laughs> that ain't, that ain't so happening we for even me on that. I might read a couple paragraphs or a quote or some shit, but I'm not going through the whole book. I got, you got a better chance of wrestling an alligator than you read a <laughs> book. Now, at this stage of the game, that uh, now I realize more just get jobs because of who they know, not what they know. <laughs> I ain't reading. Oh, so it has nothing to do with what you know. It has nothing to do with what you know. It's I mean, all many, who you know. How many know. kids graduate college and are in debt? I see them all the time. I right. see the motherfucker graduated with me that was working at the kiosk in the mall. That's when I was like, oh, you know what? This shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then they I, I, That's when I knew I wasn't going back. <laughs> and they're in debt and they can't get a job in what they just graduated in. And the second generation that don't know shit got a job and an yeah, internship. Well, then they say, well, everybody couldn't dribble like you. You had the same opportunity to get your ass in the gym and dribble. You better. Get on in there. You better. You yeah. know? Or shoot it like killer. Yeah, yeah, that's man. right. That's just, true. Just work. How about that? Just work. Next segment brought to you by Prize Picks. Right? And like UD said last time, don't be DMing me. It's hard picking your five best playmakers, okay? So don't be DMing this me. This is what? just opinionated, opinion. bro. This ain't facts. Man, I'd be having <laughs> I mean, God here, damn, man. If, if, you know, you talk about facts. Bill Russell's never in the conversation. That I love him. Love him. Let me tell you something. 
the the best thing and the worst thing about this podcast is that everybody feel like they got to reach out to me and tell me how they feel about what I say or what I do. <laughs> and what y'all real, don't realize, I don't give a f- Yeah, I don't either. Like, don't, like, don't even, f- even DM man. me. I don't look at that don't No way. A, man, listen, I live for the smoke. So all y'all DMing me talking shit, I live to say f- you back. <laughs> right. I, I do. Well, I live to your, say f- you back. This gives you an opportunity to say f- you back because we're yeah. about to do another segment by prize picks, my five top playmakers. Leaving one of them open for you guys to discuss and have fun with, okay? Tyrese Halliburton. Pretty good player, ain't he? The really, Joker. Really good player. Nikola Jokic. LeBron James. And the one number 12, Ja Morant. Listen, you know there's only been, I think, I heard this stat the other day, three guys in NBA history that's averaged, averaged 20 and 12. There's only been three. Wow. And Halliburton's on pace to average, like, he's averaging like wow. 24 and 12. So give me your. You think I'm? What do you think of my list? Those four guys. Yeah. They're good. <laughs> they're really good. They're good players. <laughs> they're, really good. they're really good. Like I mean, it's hard in today. Like Luca's such such a good player, but he just he's got to dribble, dribble, dribble. He's got to he's got to score. He's got to make the play for the team for him to be successful. I think I think he'll struggle in winning a championship playing that way. You know what yeah. I mean? He ain't got no help, bro. He's got a. Got he's a got, t- he's got, got a little Timmy. Yeah, the Timmy be fine. Yeah, that but but up. Timmy be getting some of them two seconds on the shot yeah. clock, Jones. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, Who you got put in the fifth? Who y'all put in the fifth spot? I told you, I'm going with Trey. Trey Young. I'm going with Trey. That boy from Oklahoma City now. Oh Shay. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Shay. Now, that boy too. Once again, the question is playmakers. <laughs> now I'm going with players. Just players. Then I love Shay. No, playmaker Shay. Shay, one of them well, too. Well, when you play maker, you says you're making a play for yourself too. Yeah. Yeah, but we. <laughs> Look at his face. Well, that's a great point, Jay. Really. <laughs> great point. Yeah, we didn't say top assist play, playmakers. You gotta go do both. I'm going with Trey for a guy to do because we talk. I mean, we talking about if you're doing both, you yeah. he's doing both at a higher level. At a higher level, like it's 10.9 assists a game. Then whose record's better? You know. Well. With that being said, and that's the conversation that I had with See, Mike I can, about. I can have these conversations. That's the conversation that I had with Mike about All Star picks, yeah, yeah. because in my opinion, like I said, Ant Man should be starting in the All Star game. Look what he did with Minnesota, and look where they at now. They're the number one team in the West. Why is he not starting? In my opinion. Yeah, cause fan voting. Why is Sabonis ain't on the All Star team? His fans don't know. Shit. How about Sack didn't get one, did they? No. No, they didn't get one in. That was crazy. That's crazy. That was crazy. That's crazy. So I'm going Trey. So you're going Trey. I'm going Luka Doncic. You are going Luka. Yep. Who you going? It's your list. <sighs> you got me and Jay Will out here firing off shots. Yeah. I'm probably going Luka as well. It's a tough one between Trey and Luka, though. I don't think you guys got it pegged there. It's just mm, it's hard. They both have the ball in their hands a lot. It's hard. It's so hard. <laughs> it is. That's why I say they always do these top five lists and everyone gets mad at you. You will pick five guys. You can't. No. There's always somebody going to be bitching at you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to just stay with Trey. I'm gonna you want Trey? You got Luca. I got Luca. That's our five, man. Don't be, like you said, you need to tell them one more time. Don't be DMing us that, man. We don't care. That's and at right. the end of the day, like I said, if it's me, it's you back. <laughs> Yeah. Like, that's the truth, man. Y'all be talking crazy, man. Like, I don't said. understand what y'all think this is, man. Like, I wasn't raised like that. Don't be disrespecting people. <laughs> hey, I feel like you got that good energy right now to give the OG advice to close, wrap this thing up. I just feel like you got the good energy. Oh, yeah. You got that's some OG it. advice for these Do on to others as you want to do on to you. <laughs> you treat the janitor the same way you treat the CEO. That's my, that's my OG advice for the day. You treat the janitor the same way you treat the CEO. Do on the others as you would like them to do on to you, man. You never know, it's, right? It's your, it's, yeah, it's your clean version of saying, you know, f- you. Yeah, I mean, it's as simple as, as simple as that, brother. If you live by that, then you will be all right out here. Pretty but, simple. Yeah, but everybody at home that feel like they got to comment on something, I feel like this, man. Sometimes, whatever happens to if you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. <laughs> That's so, what happened to that. Sometimes, <laughs> le- sometimes less is more, dog. Yeah, man, I think you will reach out to a complete stranger, somebody you never met in your life, just to say something. But they, like you say, gotta have a lot of time on your hand. They'll say like I would type, never, I would never do that. To reach they, out to a complete stranger, somebody I never met, just to say. 
fucked up shit to do. They're not gonna say it. They're gonna type it. Yeah. <laughs> they're not gonna say it. Oh yeah, they not. They're never gonna say it. No. They never gonna say, say it. it. So at the end of the day, man, treat people like you want to be treated. Or if it's f me, it's f you back. <laughs> With a smile. With a smile. <laughs> That's as fair as you can be, right? That's as fair as you yeah. can be. Well, Jay, man, we appreciate you coming in, brother. Hour 45. We've been at them on the day. Go f Gators, man. Go Gators. Go Gators. Hey, look. Gator Softball Friday, dog. Ooh, Opening that's up. right. Hey, what? wait. Hey. One question before we go. What's the state of Gator basketball to you? We just beat Kentucky now. This is a big win for us, but what do you think about Gator basketball right yeah, now? Yeah, but then they went and laid an egg at Texas A&M, dog. So what do you think the program at? I real think, quick. I think the program it ain't got to be real quick unless you're trying to get me no, up out here. No, nah, no, nah, well, I, I think the program is up and up on the up and up. Okay. They got to get. They got to get. They got to get a good key recruit. You know what I'm saying? Get some players. Got to get at least one to start it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but but no, I like where it's at right now. So you think it's it's, it's, it's so much further forward than it was last year to me. Mm -hmm. Um, but and I, I'm gonna give them a shout out. They definitely, they definitely, and I ain't. This at all. I'm white chocolate, dog. Let's get that Hell shit up yeah. out of here, right? I ain't. <laughs> but they got they got more Caucasians in the team photo than any sport team in the history of sport. <laughs> and look, they getting it done, dog. So look, don't don't take it no way sideways or not. Them dudes is getting it done, and they gonna continue to get it done. In the history of sport. In the history of sport, they got more white dudes. Really? Especially in basketball, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got like. They got all the Spankies and all the J Wheels down there now, dog. All of them, dog. Uh, hey, listen, I, I, I'm all for that, but boy, you better sprinkle some pepper in that if you try to get a if you try to get a championship. Listen, listen from now, from what I know, this ain't the Hoosiers now. Yeah, this like, ain't the what the is that movie Hoosiers? The mother Jimmy Chitwood will give you 25 <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, today. No, no, nah, but look, yeah, if you yeah you trying to win in hoops, bro, probably best off go with the bro over the white boy. <laughs> yeah, you gonna That's definitely have to miss. More, more likely, they're more athletic, they're faster, stronger. We all seen higher. what they Texas El Paso did to Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> we see that firsthand. Sorry, Pat. First time your ass lost a jump ball, you knew it was over. Yeah, that's <laughs> that right. That brother out jumped your ass for that jump ball, and you knew it was a wrap. You told us the story. <laughs> that's right. Oh, he told it to us. He said, once that mother, he said he had never lost a jump ball his whole career. He said, once he lost that jump ball against that dude at that beginning of the game, he knew he was in trouble. Yeah. Just different. He was, he was in the game. <laughs> That my that fucks your mind up. No you never lost a jump ball. No you win every jump ball, and the first jump ball, this jump sky high, and you on your way down, and he's still on his way up. <laughs> you <laughs> in the game. You all you know it's over. Yeah. Them brothers put that thing on Kentucky ass. Oh man, whooped them. <laughs> but what I will say is, once again, brothers like me, and coming from that, we love to see white boys that can hoop. We our biggest fans. I appreciate we are the that. biggest fans when they come to seeing white boys that can hoop. I love that. I love that. <laughs> And then you became my roommate. That made it even better. I thought I was going to play with you and you left us, but it's okay. No, I ain't leaving. I, I, got, I got booted up out of there, man. I got kicked You're absolutely and right. Now, and now? Because you was part of the pitch. They he sold was, you. He, he was they the pitch. They sold you. He was they the took pitch. me in front of the O'Connell Center just to watch you dribble in them rocks like I was going to be playing with you, and they knew your ass was going to be out of there. Did you dribble in them rocks? Hell no. Come on, dog. I had no intentions on dribbling in the rocks. Throw that in the post. I'm going to get a you turn in that you That's right. <laughs> The me hook. You was the, you was the second coming of the me hook, dog. Yeah, I can't really go for that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, two they went to the Tuesday. final four. They went to the final yes, four, they dog. Final they four. did yeah. go to the final. Okay, well then you the clerk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You the second coming, Andrew, Andrew the clerk. <laughs> <laughs> you the second coming, Andrew the clerk, mother. <laughs> hey, Andrew. I can't go. Man, let me get out of here, man. Appreciate y'all. Tune in Tuesday. OG's out, man. Jay Will, thanks for coming in, brother. Appreciate y'all. Jay Will, for appreciate real. you, dog. Do it again. Much love. Part two coming soon because we got way more stories. That's a crazy yes, thing. Yes, sir. We're out.